இருக்கும் சார் பிளீஸ் கண்டக்ட் ஆஃப்லைன் ஆன்லைன் லெக்சர் பிகாஸ் வி ஆர் ஃப்ரம் பாம்பே பெங்களூர் ஐ வி கேன் நாட் கம் டில் மார்னிங் ஐ டி நாட் போஸ்ட் தட் லிங்க் பிகாஸ் ஐ குட் இன் சி திஸ் கவுண்ட் இஃப் ஐ போஸ்டட் தட் லிங்க் இன் த குரூப் ஐம் ரைட் ஐ நோ இட் at least these many students have come listen here for your information the lectures are not getting recorded not getting recorded and it is not going to get uploaded in our Uh, what is uh, like our portal but don't worry it is there in youtube okay it is there in youtube but see now we don't have time for watching those lectures right there is no time why we need those lectures in youtube or even if you ask me recording also not needed guys who are sitting uh, there in a live stream please if i speak in between in tamil please don't mind okay don't mind because lectures like acha live youtube live i cannot see no youtube live you can see that you have to go to youtube then you are say you are in zoom then how can you see that lecture in youtube go to youtube subscribe my channel and you can watch it so now i think i am becoming a youtuber i have to tell please subscribe my channel right <laughs> okay so guys if i speak in between something in tamil it is definitely not about lectures to engage the students i may talk something in tamil so but it is nothing to do with the lectures my dear is it clear so no need to worry so the people who are sitting here in front of me if anything you want to ask in tamil of course you can ask if anything you want to ask in hindi of course you can ask anything you want to ask in tamil or uh, english of course yes telugu also yes but i will answer it in english even malayalam also okay guys we are starting in 2 minutes time please wait
Yes, good morning all of you. We'll start now. Sir, maths fast track batch notes are removed from app. Can you please upload it again, sir? Can you send it in group, please, sir? Only answer is Muskan Madam Zindabad. You talk to her. Okay. Good morning, all of you. Fine. I think everyone can see the board also, right? Yeah. Fine. So, thanks for coming today, my dear. Because I remember 2000. Two thousand nineteen before Corona. Two thousand nineteen was Corona. Two thousand eighteen. Twenty nine. Yeah. Two thousand nineteen November attempt. I did one day session like this. I still I could remember. It was a huge classroom. I had it in a huge classroom. That time there is no online facilities and all. Okay. We had the lecture in a huge classroom. Do you know how many of them came for that lecture? It was around seven hundred students. And the place was not enough. Actually, that capacity was only 350, the classroom capacity. And uh, I did not expect those many students were, would come. 700 students around, they came to uh, for they came for the lectures. I could remember that the stages and all. Now, nah? I used I have to write it on the board only, whiteboard only. So, the stage half of the stage people are sitting, and this side people are sitting. And uh, still, I remember there is last bench. Most of them were standing. Okay. And it was around four to five hours lecture. And the patient, it was like different experience, you know. It was different experience. Now, I can see it is around the same 700 students definitely going to watch it in YouTube for sure. But now, this is different, right? The 700 students are the thanks to technology. Even this classroom is enough to address 700 students. Am I right? The small classroom is enough to address 700 students. Even my bedroom is more than enough to 700 students because I did it, all the lectures is from my bedroom only. One bedroom I converted as a studio and from there only I was taking. So thanks to technology, but definitely what you know, everything cannot be replaced by technology. There are something that is human touch, what we say. And because of that only you people are here. Am I right, my dear? So that human touch is most needed. Of course, you will get it. It is not from... Our side, human touch, I'm talking about among yourself. Because you people are discussing over Zoom, this, that, and all. Now you people are seeing your real friends. That's a different experience. Okay. Now let us get into that uh, topic, my dear. Since this is a fast track revision. Fast track means it's super fast revision. Like I'll be keep on talking. I'll be just keep on telling you what and all important, what is to be done, this, that, and all. After some point of time, I'll stop the lecture. I'll ask you if there is any doubt, you can ask. Then again, I'll keep on continue. Okay. This is about what, you know, what exactly to be done. There are a few problems also I'm going to do. And this surely what to be pre prepared. That is some topics you may uh, omit that, sir, I've not prepared those topics, sir. So in that topic, if you, instead of leaving the entire topic, what we can say, sir, some uh, important parts can be prepared. And that is what I'm going to say today. Is it clear, all of you? Yes. Fine. First. Let me start with mathematics. Okay, 40 marks. The people who are struggling in mathematics, people who are struggling in mathematics, okay, people who are struggling in mathematics. Yeah. Okay, people who are struggling in mathematics, for them, I can tell you this, like minimum 20 should be our target. Okay, minimum 20 should be our target. For people who are struggling in mathematics, if you feel, sir, even scoring 11, 12 marks is very difficult, sir. For you, minimum target should be what? 20, that is 50%. Okay, minimum target should be 20. And today, that in that first two hours, we are going to ensure that 20 marks. 
please always remember as i always tell you sometimes you should know when to say no don't fight with your egos and don't think that every time i have to solve all the problems that you are definitely not going to that mistake okay don't do that mistake never and ever okay whichever you are comfortable only those questions should be answered okay sir i will try sir in the examination you are not going to try in the exam you are not going to try and tomorrow when you write the prelims please take that exact two hours only don't take more than two hours okay don't take more than two hours so these are few things which i would like to tell you so let us ensure 20 marks okay first chapter is what ratio proportion indices log these are the four topics of course sir we are very much confident about ratio sir we are very much confident about proportion sir okay yes sir we know we know because after doing duplicate ratio sub duplicate ratio compounded ratio we'll be saying wow sir we are good in that uh, ratio part sir that is wrong duplicate ratio inverse ratio of course if luck goes well questions may be asked compounded ratio of course and if those questions are coming definitely you will be able to answer you don't require my support only correct now see you people are grown up enough okay you don't bother about those kind of questions yes of course but what exactly i am expecting from ratio if at all a question comes from ratio mostly what you know practical oriented questions will be coming like a number of there is like coin problems 50 paise coin 25 paise coin and the divisions among the people in the ratio etc etc those type of what uh, practical based questions i am expecting okay practical based questions i am expecting so please work on those practical based questions like what you know coin uh, 25 paise coin and if the ratio between 25 paise 50 paise and 1 rupee coin is uh, 3 is to 2 is to 5 total amount is so and so okay please please listen here my dear so total amount is so and so these type of questions definitely it is going to come have you all got my video lectures is anyone missing my video lectures no sir i did not join your class okay one fine okay then it is uh, everything it is going to be new because in my video lectures everything i have covered okay for you what i can tell you you know those who are not have uh, not attended my video lectures and directly came for today's lecture definitely these topics might have taught by your teachers wherever you went so there they might have taught what exactly 50 paise coin 1 rupee coin 2 rupees coin r in the ratio 3 is to 2 is to 5 okay and it, no no don't write don't write total amount is around something like 250 or something like that so find the number of 25 paise coin find sorry find the number of 50 paise coin or find the number of 1 rupee coin or find the number of 2 rupees coin that such type of questions are very important okay are very important so don't expect any challenging questions in a ratio no need to expect any challenging question it's purely what you know practical based questions i will i would like to do a problem from this part what is it 50 paise 25 paise because there are few new students and uh, even we know whatever we teach yesterday we do today we forget and it is long back what i taught so i don't know whether you remember this or not so for your convenience so let me just teach one sum okay let me just teach one sum okay are you all ready yes anyone have anyone have scanner with you do you have scanner with you huh a uh, pdf yeah can you share it in uh whatsapp uh, telegram you please share it simultaneously you can open your mobile phone also but don't chat with anyone because he is sharing it in our telegram channel so you can download that uh, scanner That's it. Guys, we are sharing scanner in the WhatsApp. WhatsApp, sorry, Telegram channel. Is all are there in my Telegram channel? Girls, boys, that is okay. Anshapa?
Hey, online students, are you there? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, so all of you, please take a scanner questions. Uh, some number is in a prototype. Okay, so some number. Now listen here. Some number six. Come, come. Some number six. A box contains 56 rupees in the form of coins of one rupee, 50 paise, and 25 paise. Is it right? What are the type of coins, my dear? One rupee. Guys, please don't talk. 50 paise, 25 paise. I hope everyone have got this PDF, right? So I'm not writing the question so that we can say our time. Okay. A box contains 56 rupees in the form of 1 rupee, 50 paise and 25 paise. The number of 50 paise coin is double the number of 25 paise coin and four times the number of 1 rupee coin. Listen here. What exactly it is? The number of 25 paise coin, 50 paise coin, double the number of 25 paise coin, four times the number of one rupee coin, four times the number of one rupee coin. Okay, fine. Now, guys, listen here, all of you. Number of 50 paise coin, double the number of 25 paise coin. Is that right? For example, if there are four 25 paise coins, then how many 50 paise coin? What is mean? 4 into 2, 8. Very good. Correct? And number of 50 paise coin is 4 times the number of 1 rupee coin. That means, if there are 2 1 rupee coin, then how many 50 paise coin? See, 4 times, right? If there are 2 1 rupee coin, sorry. If there are 2 1 rupee coin, can you please tell me how many 50 paise coin you can expect? 8. Very good. Just an example. I'm just putting an example. That's it. So, if at all you do by actual method, what do we do, sir? Sir, let the number of 50 paise coin be 4x, 25 paise coin is x or 2x and 1 rupee coin is x. It's a waste of time. We have got trial and error method, right? We have got options. We have got options. And definitely what? The numbers are involved to 2 and 4. What are the numbers involved, my dear? 2 and 4. Double the time, 4 times and also I'm talking about that number. 2 times four times that condition is given. That means what, my dear? It is two and four. The numbers are involved to two and four. See, I'm just telling you how to approach. Okay, it is not that like solving the question. It is how to approach, sir. Two numbers are involved, two and four. So definitely the answer must be LCM of two and four. That is, it should be divisible by LCM of two and four. What is LCM of two and four is? Huh? LCM of two and four is what? Four. So the answer must be divisible by four. So first, what I will do, I will take all the options. And whichever option is divisible by 4, I can check. What are the options given? Tell me. 64, 32, 16, and 14. Now you can tell me, sir, one option is not possible. Which option is not possible? 14 is not possible. Am I right, my dear? See, this is what eliminating the options. You Are, are, you, are, you, are you getting the point, my dear? See, guys, because you just joined late na, in the Telegram channel. Are you there in my Telegram channel? No? Okay, fine. So, uh, we will join in the Telegram channel. That Telegram channel, I've shared the, uh, our friends shared the uh, scanner PDF. So, from there, I'm doing it. Okay, from there, I'm doing it. Okay, fine. Now, listen here. So, 2 and 4 involved means, see, this is very important. Four options are given. I'm eliminating one option now. Which option we are eliminating? 14 we are eliminating. Why we are eliminating 14? 
Correct. Not divisible by four. Why we are thinking about divisible by four, sir? Two and four numbers involved. Therefore, my answer is definitely what must be divisible by four. See this. This is this explanation. I am not only giving for this particular question. Overall, whenever you solve such kind of questions, not only such kind of any mathematical question or statistics question, approach should be like this. Like sitting and solving the questions will not work. Okay, approach should be like this. Now tell me, my dear, two and four. So here options can be sixty-four, thirty-two, or sixteen. Sixty-four, thirty-two, or sixteen. Am I right, my dear? Sixty-four, thirty-two, or sixteen. Okay. Next step. Option A. I'll try with option A. What is option A? Is so there are sixty-four fifty paise coin. This is what because they ask you to find out number of fifty paise coin. They ask you to find out what number of fifty paise coin. So sixty-four fifty paise coin. That is what we are expecting. Okay. If fifty paise coin is sixty-four, tell me, my dear, how many twenty-five paise coins should be? Excellent. Thirty-two. Very good. And one rupee. Excellent. Now simply, what I will do, you know, one rupee into sixteen. There are sixteen rupees in the form of one rupee coin. Plus fifty into sixty-four. There are thirty-two rupees in the form of fifty paise coin. Twenty-five <coughs> into thirty-two. Eight. There are eight rupees in the form of twenty-five paise coin. Am I right, my dear? Say so now. Okay, guys. The Telegram channel that notes shared. Now add everything. Are we getting fifty-six? And how much is the total coin? So total. That is total value of that coin fifty-six. So now you tell me, my dear. Is it necessary to to use the actual method? What exactly the actual method is? Sir, let the number of twenty-five paise coin. Sorry, one fifty paise coin is four x. Twenty-five paise coin is two x, and number of one rupee coin is x. So x into point five into four x plus point two five into two x is equal to two as well fifty-six. Then solve. You will find the value of that common multiple. After finding the common multiple, what do we do? After finding the common multiple, what do we do? We put x is equal to something like that. Am I right, my dear? Yes. Is that right, my dear? Now you tell me. Is it necessary to do follow that way? And the problem should be approached like this. This is what I'm trying to tell you. See, if you are following everything mathematically, you will not get the answers. Okay, you will not get the answers on time. Sometimes you need to think differently, and this is the way it has to be approached. Is that clear? Yes. Give me two minutes time because let me share the screen. The Telegram channel also, that PDF also, I can share it. We can share, right? Hey, do you know how to do it? Okay. Yes, I'm sharing it. Okay, can you see it on the screen?
That's yes. a, yeah. <coughs> Is it full screen? Can you see? Why it is blurred? I don't know. Okay, what about now? Is it fine? Still, it is blurred. I don't know because of the. I think it's a scanner. Scanner is scanned material only, so that is what it's like this. Ah, okay, guys. It's clear. Sir. Ah, it's clear now. Thank you. It's manageable now. Here. Yeah. Yeah. You on your mobile, let's go. Ah, okay. Now listen here, my dear. Yes. I want you to try this sum number 11 for practice. Come, come, my dear, come. I want you to try sum number 11 for practice. Can you please try sum number 11 for practice? A bag contains 167 rupees in the form of the method which I taught you. Hey, try means, please understand. Remember, don't use your pen and paper. Only calculator. Why you people are writing something on the notebook? I don't understand. Take your calculator just like that. Use it, my dear. Very good. Shake sir. Telegram channel name on the Shake sir. And I don't the channel on the bearer. AC remote up in the shop. Option is there. Option is yeah. Okay. Yes, listen here. Only use calculator. Only use calculator. Don't use pen and paper. Avoid use pen and paper. Just read the question. Use calculator. Sir, a bag contains 167 rupees in the form of 1 rupee, 50 paise and 50 10 paise coins. In the ratio 3 is to 4 is to 5. Am I right, my dear? In the ratio 3 is to 4 is to 5. Okay. A bag contains 187 rupees. 1 rupee coin, 50 paise coin, 10 paise coin. In the ratio 3 is to 4 is to 5. Find the number of each type of coins. Please, please don't talk. Find the number of each type of coins. Okay. Find the number of each type of coins. Now listen here. What you did, sir, it's very simple, sir. First, I'll take option A, 102, 136, 170. 102, 136, 170. Sir, 102. First, let me check 102, 135, 170. R in the ratio 3 is to 4 is to 5. That is more important, right? So, first number should be divisible by 3. Second number should be divisible by 4. And third number should be divisible by 5. Is it satisfying or not? So, first condition satisfies it is of the form of 3 is to 4 is to 4, sorry, 3 is to 4 is to 5. That condition is solved. Okay. What is the common multiple here? 102, 136, 170? 34. 34. How to check that? You know, it's very simple, my dear. Which is the easiest number here? 5 is the easiest number. Guys, 5 is the easiest number. Last number sure. should be divisible by 5 because 3 is to 4 is to 5. Among these three, I find 5 is the simplest number. I will take only, I will go to directly last number. Last number is what should be divisible by 5, which is 170. What is 170 divided by 5 is? 34, sir. So we need to check whether all the numbers are divisible by 34 or not. Yes, sir. 3 34s are 102. 4 34s are 136. 5 34s 
फाइव थर्टी फोर सर वन सेवेंटी से सर आई थिंक यू आर एक्सप्लेनिंग सो मच सर हाउ कैन वी थिंक दिस थिंग सर इट्स नॉट लाइक दर माइ डियर दिस इज द वे वी नीड टू अप्रोच इट्स इट्स एवरीथिंग विल हैपन इन फ्रैक्शन ऑफ सेकेंड्स इट विल नॉट टेक मच टाइम सो डोंट वरी अबाउट इट सो थ्री इज टू फोर इज टू फाइव बिकॉज द वे आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग मे बी थिंक सर यू आर इंस्टेड ऑफ थिंकिंग लाइक दिस आई कैन राइट सर नो दीज थिंग्स विल हैपन इन द फ्रैक्शन ऑफ सेकेंड्स ओके so 3 is to 4 is to 5 okay sir first condition satisfied what is the second condition simply will multiply 102 into 1 rupee plus 136 into 50 paise coin 136 into 50 paise what is it 68 plus uh, 170 <coughs> i will add everything are we getting 187 problem yes, is solved sir. why we need to write it something on the paper let the common multiple be x therefore number of 50 paise coins of whatever 3x 4x and 5x why to waste our time simply take your calculator just check whether which option is in the form of 3 is to 4 is to 5 in the ratio 3 is to 4 is to 5 then proceed further for example for example uh, you can directly check option a only why you know option c 3 is to 4 is to 5 is it in ascending order my dear is it in ascending order so options must be in ascending order so option b is not in ascending order option c is not in ascending order you no need to check option c and option d so my answer is either option a or option d once option a doesn't satisfy then directly what i'll mark option d since it is none of this you'll think twice none of this cannot be my answer therefore i might have done some mistake in option a so definitely these type of sums you will never do the mistake you understand 3 is to 4 is to 5 my dear 3 is to 4 is to 5 Sir, smaller, bigger, and bigger. So option also should be in that format only. Then I'll check those options. I'll circle those options only. Test that condition on those options. B and C, I no need to check only. And these informations, whatever I'm providing, this is not only for solving this particular sum. This is for what entire MCQs. Whatever MCQs, whenever you are solving MCQs, mathematics you are approaching. This is the way we need to approach. Okay, it is not that solving one sum. And will help me to solve MCQs. No, I may solve ten sums only today, but all ten sums will help us to solve MCQs of any chapter, because definitely you have prepared everything. You have come here for some kind of revisions and some kind of learning, which is something extra. And definitely you are going to get that extra here, and that extra only will help us to solve the good. Help us to get the good marks in our CA Foundation exams. Am I clear, my dear? Yes. Now. Is there is any confusion? There is any confusion or anything is there in ratio? You tell me, my dear. Anything you would like to ask from ratio alone? Don't go to any other. Don't jump into any other topic. Ratio alone. Is there is anything you want to ask? Yes. Can I give you one final sum so that you will get some more confidence? Am I right, my dear? Yeah. I want you to do fifteen sum. <clears throat> Sir, can you scroll a bit down? Scroll it. Why? Sir, your head is coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. I understand. So I need to remove my head. Sure, sir. Yes. What is the answer? What? Okay. Yes. Listen here. Let me read the question. Emma, you will pass. You will not pass. You will not pass. You will not pass. Okay. நீங்க ஒன்னு சின்ன ஒரு ஹெல்ப் பண்ணுங்களா நம்ம அந்த 
உங்க நம்பர் கொடுங்க நான் டெலிகிராம் லிங்க் அனுப்பிச்சுடுறேன் நீங்க அதுல ஜாயின் பண்ணீங்க மொபைல்ல பாத்துக்கலாம் இருக்குல்லையா ஓகே அப்படின்னா ஓகே எஸ் நவலுதுனியா the ratio of earnings of a and b of course you have got your, you got the answer that is data inadequate right why data in is inadequate sir it answer is already given only i did not notice that okay only question is not there na right 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 fine see but if you try trial and error method you would have got the answer please understand that trial and error method definitely you will get the answer because to check trial and error method you don't require all the informations is that right my dear but so then how we will come to know sir in the examination if such kind of questions are there data inadequate is there if i try trial and error method and you are telling the answer may come so then what should i do in this case when there is an option data inadequate when there is an option data inadequate don't use trial and error method just read the question very carefully okay when the option is there that data inadequate both the option a and b these type of options and all there only trial and error method will not help you need to do some additional thing so when data inadequate data insufficient these type of options are there what we are supposed to do my dear we need to read the question once again and we need to check whether all the data are given or not okay for example here in this case ratio of earnings of a and b is 4 is to 7 <clears throat> the ratio of a increases by 50% and those of b in decreases by 25% the new ratio of their earnings becomes 8 is to 7 what is a is to what is a's earning what is a's earning now listen here if this question is like this only option c possible sir why sir why how can you eliminate option a and b sir 4 is to 7 right 4 is to 7 means what my dear what is my 4 is to 7 sir that should be divisible by 4 here only option every option is divisible or only option c is i think every option is divisible by 4 mark but why i am going with option c 28 28 i am ignoring the last three three digits okay 28 so i am directly checking with option c why well, i don't know whether it is right or wrong okay so option c directly i am checking so 28000 for example so what will be earnings of b 49000 wow fantastic 49000 okay now If the earnings of A increases by fifty percent, so twenty-eight thousand becomes forty-two thousand. Ah, uh, twenty-eight thousand becomes forty-two thousand. A fifty percent increase means what? Emma, twenty-eight thousand. What is half of twenty-eight thousand? Fourteen thousand. Twenty-eight plus forty-two. That can calculate no. So take the calculate twenty-eight thousand plus fifty percent. Just check whether you are getting forty-two or not. Emma, still you are not using calculator properly. Okay, twenty eight thousand plus fifty percent. Simply, you have to do. That's it. So, if it is forty two thousand and B's earning is decreases by what? So B's salary was forty nine thousand. Forty nine thousand because according to that condition, four is the same condition. Forty nine thousand. Forty nine thousand minus twenty five percent. Thirty six thousand. Okay. Now the new ratio of the earning is eight is to seven. we need to check whether the ratio is 8 to 7 or coming or not okay now look at this my dear first answer is what 42000 second answer is what you understand what exactly i am doing okay now i think 8 to 7 is not coming so option a is option c is not possible see i am just checking whether c is coming or not it's not coming same way i may check option a same way i may check option b okay i may check that but here the best answer is what my dear data inadequate because all the informations are not given all the informations are not given okay just i want to explain trial and error method that's what i said this otherwise it is not needed okay fine now listen here in this ratio proportion indices log this is part this part what we did was ratio when it comes to proportion what has to be prepared my dear what is proportion means sir let the four numbers are in proportion find the fourth proportion find the mean proportion if these type of questions are there definitely anyone can solve it you don't require my support anyone definitely anyone can solve it but these type of questions are not no not asked is wrong thing it's not that important as compared to if proportion questions are coming mixtures very important have you heard about mixtures before 
Acha, aavda, okay, C option is getting satisfied. That's what I tried. I actually took a, okay. How he said, sir, how, sir? 32,000 divided by 3650. What you are getting? Oh, sorry. 42,000 divided by 36,750. One point? One point, point uh, one four two eight five. Okay, whatever one point four two something like that. What is eight by seven? Ah, so now you understood why he did like this, huh? So option C is getting satisfied, but definitely what that is not my answer. I told you now one option definitely will satisfy if you use trial and method, but that data is not adequate actually. Now let it be, my dear. So mixtures, have you heard about mixtures before? Mixtures, you heard? Okay. Okay. Of course, proportion mixtures are very important. Okay, mixtures are very important. I will show you one sum from mixtures. People, Imam, after today's session, you are not sure you should not get demotivated. Okay, you may feel I have not covered this area in the classroom, they have not covered and all that type of demotivation should not come. You might have prepared. But now it is not because first time you are attending my lecture. So wavelength may not get connected in the first day itself. So don't get upset if you are not getting connected. Okay. Whether these problems, mixture and serve solder are in a class, la pandama, illana, yosika, and now sail. Pandir ping. Okay. Rumbala yosika, and that's yeah. I'll punch a wavelength at our time. Marko. Ning where the topic where you use pandir ping. Okay. What is mixture? I'll tell you. Listen here. Now this one, 24th sum. It's a mixture question, right? 24th question is a mixture question. What is it? 40 liters of mixture. 40 liters of mixture of glycerin and water. The ratio of the glycerin and water is 3 is to 1. The quantity of water added in the mixture in order to make the ratio 2 is to 1. Listen here. Solution is already there. I don't want to discuss the solution. I'm just going to tell you way of approach. Sir, I already attended your session. In that session, you already explained the way of Approach, sir. Of course, I know. Fine. One more time you can listen. Now, listen here, my dear. Sir, the question is what? This is what we call it as mixture, ma. There are two products are getting mixed. Clear print of math scanner to your number, sir. Please download it, sir. Okay, wait, my dear. Can you please put it in the scan, uh, telegram? Ganeshan or Lokesh, whoever. Can you please put it in the telegram? Neither of me, yeah. So I have WhatsApp it on my web look on my WhatsApp a pony and personal on it on the map. So did the clear away, sir. Clear our gaba. I'm a sir. But think on the projection like clear. I love it. Hey, upon an equal projection of the Aramark of Papa. Okay, okay. For two minutes, I'm going to look up on clarity under the eight. Yeah, why you have the number again? Okay, fine. Let it be. Let us not waste our time. Okay, guys, listen here. 40 liters of mixture of glycerin and water. The ratio of glycerin and water is 3 is to 1. The quantity of water added in that mixture in order to make this ratio 2 is to 1. Yes. Wait. Somebody from uh, class, tell me how to approach. What exactly? In your comfortable language, you can talk to me. How to approach? See, there are two products. One is glycerin and the other one is water. And in the ratio 3 is to 1. Did you all understand the question? Yes. 3 is to 1 is the ratio. 
now i have to add some more water only water to be added so that the ratio should become 2 is to 1 now in the mandali was just i'll start thinking about this okay 3 is to 1 fine 30 and 10 take another number correct yeah 30 and 10 okay 30 and 10 30 liters 10 liters now i need to add some water alone this is my glycerin this is my water only water quantity to be added so this remains same am i right 30 liters same say sir no matter now changes and uh, after making it so the ratio becomes 2 is to 1 the ratio becomes what 2 is to 1 please don't give me the answer the ratio becomes 2 is to 1 so 30 liters remain same so 2 is to 1 ratio if at all 2 is to 1 ratio means if this is 30 water must be half of 30 so it should be 15 am i right already i have got 10 liters how much liter to be added that's it answer over am i right my dear answer is over the approach should be like this so why do i require to solve the question like this my dear is it needed to solve like this which is given on the solution you can check that not needed this is what sir 30 liter 10 liter sir now i'm going to add only water content sir water content means what how much to be added so that it becomes two is to one sir so what exactly you are doing 30 liters you are keeping as it is so definitely water should be 15 liters water quantity should be 15 liters then only it will be two is to one already i've got 10 liters now how much added how much to be added answer over these things can be done orally or not my dear is it necessary you need to write something on the paper no so that's what i always like this ratio chapter and proportion topic these are practical oriented questions you no need to solve you no need to be mathematical expert mathematically you no need to be expert because you have got uh, some logical sense if you approach towards in that direction definitely you can do it are you getting my point my dear now look at this one more type of question from uh, proportion now this one <clears throat> in what ratio should tea worth 10 rupees per kg mixed with 14 per kg so that average price of the mixture may be 11 rupees per kg listen here this type of question please better expect in the examination see we are going to mix two types of teas one is what hey boys don't talk one is what 10 rupees other one is what 14 rupees and we are mixing together and we are making it 11 rupees okay so what should be the proportionality what should be the mixture ratio this is the question simply what we'll do my dear listen here i will give you one shortcut here people who are attending for my for the first time my lecture for you one small shortcut others you definitely know it what i told you my dear 10 rupees 14 rupees and we are going to convert into 11 rupees you write 10 you write 14 and 11 in between am i right you understand now sir screen when the left open sir oh okay 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 Yes, listen here. Please don't talk. 10, 14, we are going to make it 11. Am I right, my dear? We are going to make it 11. Is that right? Yes. Simply find the difference. Difference, I said. What is the difference between 14 and 11? What is the difference between 10 and 11? Please, to one answer over. Okay, answer is over. Fine. This much only to be done for mixtures. Tell me. Come here, Pannu Ma. Adi ka Pannu Ma. Or cooler than Riya. And the flip part ko jo maalati kudne. Fulla mooda tha. Ada koi AC a aada hai to. Ah. Ipo ano bola tha lela. Apne tap apne chena panikla. Okay. Yes. You understood or not? You understood this shortcut or not? Yes, actually, it's a best shortcut, my dear. And this is what proportion question. What we are doing, sir, let a fourth proportional be this, that, and those questions definitely anyone can solve. But remember, remember here what proportionality, what should be remembered, I'll tell you. Look at this. A, B, C, D. What is A called? First proportion. What is B called? C called, D called, 
B and C called mean proportion. Yes, excellent. Okay. Mean proportions. Okay. B and C are what? Mean proportions. First proportional, last proportional, the mean proportions. Okay. Mean proportion is wrong statement. Means, mean. We call it as mean. Product of extremes is equal to product of means. This is what we call it as proportionality. Am I right, my dear? So this type of question comes. How the questions can be asked? Find the third proportion in that among four or find the means. Such kind of questions can be asked. Find the means. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> now this question, uh, arithmetic progression and this one and the same. Do you agree? Say, for example, 2, 4, 6, 8. Is it in AP? Is it in AP? Of course, it is in AP. 2, 4, 6, 8 is in AP. 2, 4, 6, 8 is in AP. And they are also in proportion. They are also in proportion. They are means. 4 and 6 are means. <clears throat> 4 is mean of 2 and 6. 6 is mean of 4 and 8. Okay. Now listen here. So 2, 8s are. But 4, 6s are. Are they in proportion? Then why did you say arithmetic progress means yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. So don't say yes all the time. Okay. Arithmetic progression, proportions, they are two different things. But sometimes, some cause sequences may come same. Because means, means we are talking about, na? we call it as a two numbers put together, we call it as mean, not individual. In this case, four is a mean, six is a moon. Okay. Now listen here. <coughs> Please, listen here, my dear. AD equal to BC. Now next one is, if A, B, C are in continued proportion, what exactly the condition is? What is B called? Mean. What is B called? Mean. Okay. What is mean called? Mean proportion. What is it? Mean proportion. You understand when to call means and when to call mean proportion. Three numbers are coming. It is mean proportion. Otherwise, the two numbers we call it as what? Means. Okay. Mean proportion. Square of mean proportional is equal to product of extremes. So instead of remembering B square equal to AC, if you start remembering like this, sir, square of means is equal to product of extremes. If you remember like this, you will never forget. But what condition, what we are doing generally, B square equal to AC, B square equal to AC. See, instead of B and AC, XYZ is given, we are getting confused. But if I am saying, Square of mean proportion is equal to product of extremes. Whatever alphabet comes, whatever number comes, you can do it. And that is what we call it as. We always sing, nah, sir is always saying, fine, learn the concept, learn the concept. Sir, apne, nah, sir, what is my concept, sir? This word concept. This word concept, mean proportion, square of mean proportion is equal to product of extremes. The way you are remembering, nah, this is what we call it as concept. But what you are doing, B square equal to AC. A, B, C are in proportion, A, B, continued proportion, B square equal to AC. That is not the way. To be approached. Is that clear all of you? Fine. Now, B square equal to AC. So these type of questions and all coming means, of course, you can do it. And also continued proportion. You remember continued proportion. What is it? A is to B, 3 is to 2. B is to C, 5 is to 6. <clears throat> Find A is to B is to C. I told uh, there is this is the way you need to write, right? Now, simply cross multiply. 15 is to 10 is to 12. Is that right, my dear? That's it. But see, these type of questions now, directly they never asked. But sir, that means they did not ask these questions. Of course, they asked. I'll show you where they asked. How they are asking, you should know now. Otherwise, what do you think? <clears throat> that these type of questions are not coming in the exam only, sir. It is coming. Look at this. For example, this one, we can solve it by continued proportion. Do you know that? What is it? P, Q and R are the three cities. The ratio of the average temperature between P and Q is 11 is to 12. Am I right? P and Q is 11 is to 12. And the ratio of the temperature between P and R is 9 is to 8. We need to find out Q and R. Sir, it is nothing to do with continued proportion, sir. It is something to do with continued. Please listen here. Continued ratio. How I'll tell you? P is to Q is 11 is to 12. Can you write it as? Q is to P is equal to 11 is to 12. So 12 is to 11. Can you say this? 
okay next one p and r what is p and r is 9 is to 8 now you simply will find out q is to p is to r is equal to 108 is to 99 is to 88 now the question q and r q and r 108 and 88 what is 108 and 88 is the ratio? Okay, ratio means always we should write it in simplified format, simplest format. Tell me what is 108 is to 88 is? Sir, it is 27 is to 22, sir. Am I right, my dear? See, I'm just telling you this way also the sum can be approached, sir. We did inverse ratio type, sir. Of course, that also can be approached. One sum need not be approached in one simple, one single method, my dear. Can be approached in different, different method, okay? Can be approached in different, different method, okay? So this is what we need to remember in ratio and the proportion now listen here fine let me come to indices of course many people will face some challenges in indices of course why we are facing challenges in indices because the way we are approaching the way we are approaching is not perfect and uh, Unnecessary what? You know, waste of time. Unnecessarily, we do some unwanted uh, problems while we do the indices. In the exam, in the exercise and in the additional question bank, there are so many questions are given. So many questions are given. And difficult questions are given. And that is the main reason we find it difficult. Sir, what if I leave indices? What I can say is, exam point of view, if you leave, no problem. Nothing is going to, it is not going to get affected. So if at all indices question, if at all it comes, one mark. If because of the one mark, if you are losing your confidence, I will say not to do that. But some basic indices you should learn. And it will help in the other topics. Of course, you remember our shortcut trick for cyclic expressions. Cyclic expressions, the negative sign. Of course, you remember that shortcut trick. See, if everything goes well, if one type, that type of question comes in the exam, See, just fraction of a second, we get one mark. Am I right, my dear? See, this is what I am telling you. Whatever you remember, whatever you know, only that much you prepare and go. No need to prepare anything new. And that too, this is last minute. Na? We'll start thinking that, sir, I forgot everything, sir. Whatever I learned earlier, everything I forgot now. That state of mind you will be having now. Please remember, you no need to have that state of mind. So many things are stored in our subconscious mind. So when you write the exam, automatically come out. Only thing what you need to practice, you know, write the, that is complete the paper in that within the time limit, that discipline you should have. And tomorrow when you write the exam, even the students who are sitting online, for you also I'm telling you this, when you're writing the exam, keep that two hours sharp. Okay, no matter what, two hours exactly you need to complete. And whatever questions you could attend, only that much questions you are going to do it. And people who are attending online, one small request, when you are using, uh, okay, when you are using online mobile phone and all, what you do, Anna, please try to take the printout. If at all possible, try to take the printout. And that, that is, uh, those who are coming online, you can take the printout, but answer you can, uh, I will give, I'll ask them to give the hard copy of the question paper, but you have to answer it in what? Mobile phone so that you can get the answer immediately. In that app, you have to use it. And the people who are sitting there, online people who are writing. So what I can suggest is please take the printout of that question paper. I will inform Muskan Madam to send it in WhatsApp also screenshots and all. Take the printout and write it. That always good. Okay, that is always good. <coughs> Keep your hard copy before writing it. Okay, guys. Now let me come to the point. So proportion is this much. Indices as far as indices are concerned. If at all you think, sir, it is... Because of this indices, I'm losing my confidence. Please leave it. Nothing is going to happen. And this is not the time to fight with indices. This is not the time to fight with indices. Today, the main agenda why I called you is, you know, it is just to tell you which are the topics you can omit in the last minute. Because so far, I have not told about it. Because we had a time. Now we don't have time for doing anything new. And which are the topics you are going to find it a little complicated while preparing. And you may be thinking, sir, should I leave this topic or not? And you will ask your question. You will ask the questions on your own. Today, I'm going to answer that. If you want to leave, you can leave such kind of problems and such kind of questions. 
Okay, so that is what today the main agenda is. So as far as indices is concerned, this is what you need to remember. If at all you feel it is difficult, don't attend. But you, I want you to. Yes, Mohammed. Okay, before that, you what do you need to take? What before that we need to do some basic things from indices that you are not supposed to leave. Basic things in indices you are not supposed to leave. Am I right, my dear? Yes. Now let me come to logarithms. As far as logarithms is concerned, compulsory two marks come in. In ratio proportion, which is more weightage, which has got more weightage, my dear? Logarithms. Definitely, it has got more weightage. Of course, logarithms. You may be enjoying some shortcuts and all, sir. Log. I know how to use the calculator to find the table and all. See, rarely those type of questions are coming. I taught you that log table using calculator only for what? Time value of money purpose. Time value of money purpose. Not to apply it here. Okay, not to apply it here. But remember, those type of questions rarely they are asking. So then, what type of questions we can expect, sir? Law laws of log logarithms. Log a plus log b equal to log a b. Okay, these type of questions they are asking every now and then. For example, and this one in that laws also the very important thing change of base rule. You remember change of base rule? Yella me shocking hai, paakri hai. Okay, change of base rule. What is change of base rule? Log a to the base b is. log a by log b whenever you see log in the denominator what we do you take it to numerator how to do it log b to the base a am i right my dear when you take it to numerator this is what is going to happen say yes or no okay for example look at this cinema ha log b to the base a only wrote na புரியல அந்த ரைட் சைட் தெரியலப்பா Okay, <laughs> now I just noticed it. Sorry, I just noticed it. Right? Now am I right? Yeah. I am. What? What are they are talking about? No, it implies on the tiny formula. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Listen here. Okay. Now look at this. Log comes in denominator, right? See. the way i am approaching the question that's what i'm telling you sir log comes in denominator immediately what should come in your mind change of base rule so we have to come we have to take that log to numerator 99% of the cases this is what your approach should be so once you convert it into change of base your problem is solved automatically my dear for example what is reciprocal log abc to the base ab this is log abc to the base ab look at this the question is like this log abc to the base ab sorry 1 by one by log abc to the base bc plus one by log abc to the base ac now tell me my dear reciprocal see till we do this step we don't know what to be done now after doing this you can we might have come across this point sir base is same sir and it is of the form of log a plus log b plus log c sir it is equal to log of abc is it nothing but log of ab into bc into ac is it a square b square c square so it is nothing but abc correct A square, B square, C square can be done as A B C the whole square, sir. Base and value same, sir. 
my answer is two. Is that right? Okay. But see, please don't talk. If you have practiced enough, if you have practiced enough, by looking at the question, you can give the answer. Okay. What you'll do? One by the ABC base AB. Okay. Log of AB to the base AB. ABC. Log of AB to the base ABC. BC to the base ABC. CA to the base ABC. Sir, base is same, sir. When I multiply automatically two, 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 two A's, two B's and two C's are going to come. So answer must be two because log and indices are interconnected. Do you agree? Log and the indices are interconnected. In log, we are, we are dealing with index only. Index means what? Power. Log chapter, what we are doing? What we are dealing with? Power only we are dealing. So of course, what is there in the power? Two. My answer is two. Sir, rend A, rend B, rend C, rend sir. Answer two, sir. See, these are things what you know. If you want to leave that sum, instead of leaving that sum, you take that risk. You take that risk. Sir, rend A, rend B, rend C, rend So answer two, sir. So there are two A's, two B's and two C's. So answer two. Okay, fine. Now, one more, one more, one more also will do. Wait. From log only. I think... Uh, you got uh, my shortcut, right? This one. Huh? 21. Oh, three, Leo. <coughs> 4 power x is equal to 5 power y is equal to 20 power z. Of course, you remember the shortcut. Do you remember the shortcut? Sir, there will be always connection between 4 and 5. 220. What is the actual method you might have done? Sir, equal to k, you would have written. Equal to k. Then 4 power x is equal to k. 5 power y equal to k. 6 power z equal to k. 4 is equal to k power 1 by x. 5 is equal to k power 1 by y. 20 is equal to k power 1 by z. This is the method you might have followed, right? The students who are attending for the first time. For you, I am telling you, this is the method. Definitely you follow. But we have got different method. You remember it, right? Sir, there is a connection between 4 and 5 and 20, sir. What is the connection? Sir, deal the index, sir. What is there in the index? Here, one, one, everywhere, one only there. So tell me, what is it? One by x plus one by y because multiplication means added is equal to answer over. But sir, this way option is not there, sir. What exactly the question? Let me read the question. Question, sir, z is equal to, okay, done. What is z equal to? First, let me take the LCM. Y plus x by xy is equal to 1 by z. Sir, invert and 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 do, sir. Z equal to xy by x plus y. Am I right, my dear? Correct or not? Answer is over. But how we do? Sir, equal to k, this. Not needed, I'm telling you. Always there is a connection. Only take the index and this index. 1 by x plus 1 by y equal to 1 by z. Simply you can do that problem. I think you remember this also. Please, my dear. Now, what uh, irrespective, uh, see, irrespective of answers, we can form the equation. How I to form the equation? You tell me, my dear, how to form the equation? 1 by 2y equals to 1 by z. 3 into 5 square equal to 75. Am I right? Yes, sir. Yes, I think you got the answer. Tell me. 1 by x plus 1 by 2y equals to 1 by z. 2 by y. Correct or not, my dear? 1 by x plus 2 by y is equal to 1 by z. Now, the answer may be like this directly. <clears throat> Sometimes they ask you to find out x, x, y, z value. Simplify and get it. <clears throat> you got my point, my dear? Yes. The problems, this is actually what is the topic is from proportion. This is from where? <clears throat> proportion. Okay. Now, I told you to do log. Na? Now, this one. Sum number 23. <coughs> Can you read sum number 23 for me? Log A to the base. Next. Can you tell me what is log 10? 1. Can I say log 10 to the base 4 is 1? Change of. No. Why? 
base should be 10 here this is not base is not 10 so i think you are good in that very good superb i'm happy now listen here i gave one rule do you remember log a power m to the base b is what do you remember this m log a am i right it's a rule right log a power m to the base b is uh, b can be anything base can be anything don't worry log a power m is what m log a do you remember this what i gave what is that m by n log a to the base b am i right my dear m by n log a to the base b do you remember this rule m by n log a to the base b remember this rule also same logic only here also i am going to apply when i see this sum how i see i'll tell you sir this 8 na sir i can see it as 2 cube sir powers only i can see this is the way whenever these type of numbers you always convert into powers okay next is 16 sir 9 sir i can say it as 2 power 4 and 3 square sir am i right yes sir 4 4 how can you see 1 by 2 yes now next step what you will write my dear sir this can be written as log 3 log 2 to the base 3 since all are different different bases all the logs having different different bases we always should approach what change of base rule what we need to approach my dear change of base rule tell me what is change of base rule when i bring through three here is it log 2 by log 3 i'm taking base as 10 i'm changing everything to base to 10 and here what will come yes 4 by 2 log 2 by log 3 am i right my dear here what will come 1 by 2 log 10 by log 2 can i say like this i think answer is over sir log 10 is 1 sir log 2 will goes to numerator sir is my answer is 3 log 2 is my answer is 3 log 2 say yes or no yes sir Is it clear, all of you? Yeah. Yes. See, I will show you one sum. You just tell me what rule it comes in your mind. Hmm. Hey, can anyone tell me what is the answer for thirty-seven? Do you remember this shortcut or not? Three, three, one by three minus one by three. Is the answer is ten? Do you remember that shortcut? I told you three square plus one directly you put it. If four is coming, four square plus one is the answer. Five is coming, our answer is five square plus one. Yes. Forty-eight sum. Can you please try this forty-eight sum? Log of x square plus x. Yeah. Thirty seven, Anuma. Ah. Ah. Hey, thirty seven is three square plus one is going to be the answer. Shortcut, I am telling you. Instead of like three, there is four. Means what is the answer? Four square plus one. Instead of five, instead of four, there is five. Means what will come? Five square plus one. Four to one. Why to waste our time? Okay. Can you try sum number forty? Ah. Pull it down. Angi, could no, Baba. Is it fine or uh, 
குளிர்தா அதான போடுறீங்க <laughs> 51 is change of base rule only. Am I right, my dear? How, sir, log comes in denominator, sir. When log comes in denominator, what you'll do? You will take it to numerator by changing the base. So, what exactly will come, sir? Log 2 to the base n plus log 3 to the base 10. Dot, dot, dot. It goes on like that. Am I right, my dear? So, is it nothing but log of 2 into 3 into 4 into up to n terms, my dear? Says or no? And this is base n. Is it? Of course, sir. You can, you can, okay, up to m, m is given. Sorry, m, m, up to m. So, what is m is 1 into 2 into, see, this 2 into 3 into 4 also can be done as 1 into 2 into 3 into 4. Nothing going to change. Am I right? What is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 up to n? m factorial. What is that? m factorial. We can write it as m factorial. Is it nothing but log m factorial to the base n? What is m factorial is n. So both will get cancelled. One. Am I right, my dear? Answer is what? Log one. Because both are one and the same. So therefore, answer is one. One. Sorry. Answer is what? One. Okay. Yes. Now listen here. So log cannot be ignored from ratio proportion indices. Log cannot be ignored. Is that right, my dear? Now. When it comes to equation, when it comes to equation, which part to be focused a lot, my dear? Quadratic. For your information, I'm telling you, quadratic equation exclusively for CA foundation. We have got it in. In my YouTube, I covered entire quadratic equation. Please go and watch that channel, quadratic equation channel. I covered entire quadratic equation with shortcuts. Sir, is it more than enough for solving uh, that is getting marks in quadratic equation? More, more than enough. Okay. So that much is more than enough only to prepare what? Quadratic equation. Not for equation. Because linear equation I have not covered. Linear equation I have not covered. Cubic equation I have not covered in that YouTube channel. Or biquadratic I have not covered. Of course, we have got shortcuts for that. I think you can easily manage. Quadratic equation only challenging in equations. So that you can watch it from there. Okay. Linear inequalities. There is nothing to discuss. But I solved it by five methods. Five methods of problems expected. Do you remember that? First another. Graph is given. Find the inequation. Second method. Inequations are given. Find the graph. Third one is. Diet problem and the production. That is statement problems. Fourth one. Corner points method. Fifth one. Solving inequations. You attended the lectures or not? Only shock right angle. Okay. <clears throat> Listen here. See. Five methods I said, right? Five methods. What are the methods when you prepare inequalities? Don't take, take inequalities lightly because inequality is scoring. Inequalities is what? Scoring. Don't take it lightly, okay? Don't take it lightly. What exactly can be done? Five methods I said. What are the five methods of the problems? Graphs are, sorry, first one is inequalities are given. We need to identify graph. And there also I gave you the trick. What is it? All are less than or equal to means origin is included. All are more than or equal to means origin is not included. Away from the origin. Okay, away from the origin. So accordingly what? By looking at the graph, you need to get the answer. Okay, vice versa also there. What is it? Graphs are given. Inequalities to be identified. 
inequalities are given graphs to be identified what is the second one is third method is word problems word problems only two types of word problems are there in our syllabus one is diet problem other one is production problem when the question is based on diet in the first line itself we'll come to know the whether the problem is based on diet or production when the problem is based on diet immediately what options will have more than or equal to only when the problem is based on production immediately what the answer is nothing but less than or equal to only am i clear my dear so this is what you need to remember at the first step okay at the first go this is what you need to remember next step third method the fourth type of some what is it finding the corner points those who are referring institute material i support only institute material which is the best material i can tell you okay but many of the places people are not following institute material but for mathematics stats the best material is what institute material please completely delay what expecting what you are expecting the same question come in the examination that's what i expecting that is wrong don't expect that even if i give the material even if i give the material that questions are not going to come in the examination i am right my dear so material is actually what if you ask me the finest material is institute material for your ca foundation preparation if you prepare it from some other book it is not going to helpful i can tell you this openly even in my class i am just going to follow in the next november attempt also i am strictly going to follow only institute material i am not going to prepare my own notes okay i am just going to strictly follow institute material there are some extra topics i think that loose sheets can be given that is not a big deal but if i ignore institute material if i give that notes my own notes it is not going to help the results my dear okay because even i realized a few years back only because one time some lack of printing delay and all we could not provide the material i used institute material then i realized because till the time i did not say the institute material only then after i just uh, gone through the instrument i realized are that is the best one and this what to be covered and since then we cover only that part so students are scoring 96 95 in mathematics such a great achievement you know so please don't ignore institute material prepare from there and examples you are not supposed to ignore so in the institute material in the inequalities okay institute material inequalities additional question mark two problems are there additional question mark there is what finding corner points Okay, corner point types are there in addition question bank, and I gave the shortcut for solving those two problems. You know how to solve it. When you just go through my notes, definitely you will understand it. Okay, you know how to solve it. Yes, so that is what you need to do it from institute material. Ah, uh, sorry, time by uh, the what is it says linear inequalities. Now let us come to time value of money, the most highly expected topic. <clears throat> If I'm just keep on talking about time value of money, there is no use because you prepared a lot even i prepared a lot okay even i prepared a lot time value of money we both sit together and we prepared a lot in time value of money whenever is needed okay come time value of money what out doubt you have got time value of money because that much important topic it is but last time what exactly happened we know we expected 13 questions came only six questions it can happen in examination so in this ic examination yes definitely what any time it can happen so this time will it happen i'm not sure but chances are very less okay chances are very less okay chances are very less go for time value of money if any questions needed from time value of money you tell me because you also revised a lot even i also revised a lot okay so i don't think putting our energy into time value of money is going to be worth investment okay because we have i think in my youtube channel time value of money chapter again i covered a few part you can watch that if you are if you want to see that because of course from the students input only i came to know that time value of money the method we are following is far far different from the other people are following that's what i heard okay because the other institute people and all used to compare and they tell me so i think this method is something different sir what method we are following because we simple methods by uh, without writing anything mostly by using calculator we are completing everything we don't write anything on our own even component as shortcuts are there simple interest calculated shortcuts are there even uh, present value and future value shortcuts are there so only by using shortcuts we are solving it okay we don't write anything on for time value of money because uh, i don't know whether you sincerely followed the material or not i think not even one full book got over for math stats logical reasoning put together because everything came under one one uh, notebook we can write that much only we wrote we did not write much 
if you have followed my lecture we did not write much because i don't want my students to write everything this is not our examination like accounts and law accounts and law you have to write but the problem is what you know maths you want to write accounts and law you don't want to write but actually there you need to write especially law we don't want to write only sir who will write all the essays and all sir but actually because of that only we are facing the problem in the examination law to be written so please keep on writing mathematics i don't mind i don't even check the notebook only what i want here if here also how i solve you see na in the question wherever question is there there i used to write and this is what i want you to proceed also you want to follow the same wherever question is there there we have to solve it is not that maintaining the new book like a 12th standard board okay are we writing the question paper are you writing the questions on the notebook no na then why to write it there where question is there there you write the answer so that preparation will become very simple only notes to be written on the notes okay otherwise nothing to be written let it be so time will have many i don't want to waste my time again but small revision i would like to give so what are the parts in time will have many tell me my dear how to divide time will have many three two parts major two parts major two interest and annuity interest and annuity out of these two which one is important interest and not annuity interest is important okay if at all 11 12 questions are coming from time will have many minimum eight questions will come from where interest seven to eight questions come from interest not from annuity but we are putting our energy into where annuity not an interest see this is what where we are doing the mistakes okay this is what where we are doing the mistake so please focus into interest now when it comes to interest interest divided into three parts what is it simple interest compound interest effective rate of interest effective rate of interest compulsory question effective rate of interest compulsory question okay sir simple interest compound interest and uh, effective rate of interest which one is important sir no combination of simple and compound the questions are coming you know the difference between simple and compound interest questions yes those questions are compulsory they are asking okay and uh, in the question in the question shh, interest means they have to mention what type of interest they are use they ask you to use sir to twist the question they no need to give, actually the indian exam rule actually speaking formula also to be given in the question but no one is doing they are asking you to remember the formula that is different story but here they have to mention which interest to be calculated simple interest means they have to mention simple interest component means they have to mention component interest. that is a rule sir sometimes they are not doing it na sir then what to do sir then in that case in the exam if that type of questions are coming say 99% of the case what type of interest mentioned in the question if they are not mentioning it then what is the exact type is simple interest the question is based on what simple interest are you getting my point my dear the simple the question is based on what simple interest is it clear all of you so if they mention it if they mention it compound interest means they will mention simple interest also they mention sometimes rarely they don't mention the interest if they don't mention the interest then what is it my dear simple interest what is it my dear simple interest so remember it okay next simple interest over compound interest over difference between simple interest and compound interest for 2 years 3 years that shortcut you might have known pi square pi square into i plus 3 and the simple interest double itself in these many years triple itself in how many years compound interest doubles itself in these many years triples itself in how many years okay these type of questions na please do not ignore that type of questions okay and uh, one particular type i tell you very very important in simple interest especially okay in simple interest not in compound interest simple interest what type of question some money some some means what principal what is mean by some sum some means principal okay some particular sum amounts to something some amounts to what some amount after 2 years or 3 years and uh, the same amount be as the same sum becomes so and so amount in after 3 years find the rate of interest find the number of years very 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 important type of question but you know how to solve it simply what we do you remember it just we just draw the map okay we just draw the map we find the difference and that is what our interest okay that difference and we subtract that interest from the principal sorry from the amount and we get the principal once we get the principal 
सिंपल इंटरेस्ट डिवाइडेड बाय प्रिंसिपल इज अवर रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट करेक्ट ना सिंपल इंटरेस्ट डिवाइडेड बाय प्रिंसिपल इज अवर रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट सिंपली वी डू इट सी सर व्हाट यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सर नो यू रिमेंबर इट डोंट वरी माय डियर यू जस्ट गो एंड चेक सो दिस टाइप इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन 2 इयर्स 3 इयर्स आल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चंस कैन नॉट बी इग्नोर्ड ओके दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चंस व्हाट एवर क्वेश्चंस आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट कैन नॉट बी इग्नोर्ड नाउ आउट ऑफ 2 इफ 11 12 क्वेश्चंस आर कमिंग इट इज Try to write all the sums. Twelve questions you need to solve. Sometimes, sometimes what happens? You know, two, three. You have to leave. Please leave. Don't fight with that question. Okay, don't fight with that question. Because if you start fighting with the two, three questions, listen, sir told me I have to score eleven, twelve marks. So I will try these two, three questions. But because of the what happens, you know, time consumption. Don't do that. Okay, time. Every minute, every second is important. Every second is important. So every twenty second, every one minute gives you one mark. Actually speaking, the if I divide it, every one minute is one mark. If you just spend one question for that is, if you spend five minutes for one question, what exactly happens, my dear? We are losing five or the four marks. And I don't know whether that five. If you are spending five minutes, means something wrong. You are not getting the answer because whatever question na in that paper. Nothing. There is maximum one point five minutes. You will get the answer. That is maximum. That is one twenty seconds. Maximum one or not one twenty ninety seconds. You will get the answer. Somewhere you will come. But if it goes three four minutes, means what? You know you are committing some mistake. Don't do that. You just stop abruptly and don't think. Arey, this time yesterday only I did. So I know it. Why don't I try again? Don't do that, my dear. That mistake never never do. so save time okay save time fine so this is effective rate of interest compulsory question you know what is effective rate of interest am i right my dear what is the formula for effective rate of interest 1 <coughs> plus i the whole power n minus 1 okay what is our method 100 plus percentage that's it very simple see this is what the way you need to remember he said na 100 plus percentage plus percentage minus 100 rate of interest Okay, so for example, can we solve it orally once? Some find the effective rate of interest for eight percent quarterly. Quarterly means what? Four times. So eight percent means what is the rate of interest? Two percent. So what you will do simply, sir, hundred plus two percent plus two percent plus two percent plus two percent minus hundred. Answer over. What is it? Given rate of interest is eight percent, sir. You are not visible. Yes, my dear, I am not visible. I was standing. I was standing. See, after very long time, I am taking the lecture, my dear. I am very much comfortable in taking lectures like this. Okay, even in my house also, I don't have chairs. I have the podium, and I write it. I stand and speak. That is always I am comfortable. Okay, guys, you got that effective rate of interest now, yes, sir. I am very sincere, sir. One plus i the whole power n minus one formula only I'll be using, sir. Arey, where is the time for using those formulas, my dear? Take care, calculate just plus 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 plus. You know, eight percent quarterly. First step, what you will divide the rate of interest by four. So quarterly means four times. So two percent, two percent, two percent, four times to be added. Am I right, my dear? Onglo purni da mandu method. See, I'll show you. Give, put it there. Where are our models? Wow, okay. See, effective rate of interest for eight percent. Hey, people who are online, I'm not doing anything. I'm showing the calculator. Please wait. See, eight percent quarterly basis. Quarterly basis means what? We need to divide the rate of interest by four. So what will come? And the quarter we need call it one year. How many quarters we have got? Oh, is that the logic? So what is the idea? Plus two percent, plus two percent, plus two percent, plus two percent. Four times I add it, minus hundred. What are the effective rate of interest? Sir, but I will use only the formula, sir. But use it, no problem. Okay. Yes. Okay. So now listen here, my dear. This is what effective rate of interest. What is this effective rate of interest? Next is what 
after repetitive grant of interest annuity will come annuity i gave you three thumb rules do you remember annuity three thumb rules what are the three thumb rules type of transaction wow excellent are you are remembering everything matlab that means what you are sincerely you are attend you have attended the lectures i am very happy about it very good so what is it what are the first thumb rule transaction what are the transactions investment or borrowing there are the two things transaction means or according to as i told the reason also why investment and borrowing there are only two rules so there are two transaction what is an investment or borrowing. when it investment <laughs> borrowing <laughs> next second type of annuity what is type of annuity regular or immediate regular or immediate okay if nothing is mentioned what is regular annuity at the end of the period what is immediate annuity that's it so accordingly you'll use the formula immediate annuity means 1 plus i is extra immediate annuity 1 plus i to be extra okay future value formula how did i told you to remember effect compound interest formula only what is compound interest formula p into 1 plus i the whole power n minus 1 when i remove p it is effective rate of interest formula when i multiply by a by i it is what future value okay fine is it right my dear say yes or no say yes or no okay next okay so annuity transaction these are the thumb rules to be followed then accordingly you'll do it in annuity there is one more uh, part very very important what is it perpetuity how will identify perpetuity my dear how will identify perpetuity forever mention uh, why is that all ma forever number of years they did not mention instead of that what will be there forever when forever comes of course we don't know how many years right so directly we can go for perpetuity what is the formula for perpetuity a by i okay fine i think nare ber pasiko nanigira i know you people are hungry to have breakfast okay na ver one minute tea kudichani thirumba pasika arichano i'll just keep it okay annuity is that right my dear sir na nenja break kudukka poringa ante neenga see you watching padi chudinga okay fine listen here i'm going to give a break now okay please have breakfast because lunch can be skipped but breakfast should not be skipped so have breakfast and after a very long time you are sitting for the long hours so our attack what is going on sir okay so you you go and come so that's all with time value of money okay time value of money and what about population sum population sum comes under compound interest or simple interest yes population is always increases as compound interest only okay and depreciation compound interest shortcut is what plus 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 depreciation is what come just calculate la ellathu mudichu okay in calculator you please complete it so please have do one thing take break have breakfast and come fast 1025 please come at 1025 half an hour 30 minutes vanda ma saapradhukku okay people who are sitting online please come after the break
कर यू आर वाइफ इन योर पार्टी I am not talking to anyone. Eh?
Hello, hello. Am I audible? Are you there? Yes, sir. Wait, wait. The live class students have not yet come. Ten twenty-five. I said. Hello, Nadi. Is there? Okay, please settle down. Please sit down. Please sit down, all of you. Ba, blood and blood thing. I must say, I'm okay. Yes, listen here. Shh. Okay.
Ah, okay, listen here. Okay. See, remember one thing. The main reason, okay, main reason for losing marks. Main reason for losing marks. What we are thinking, it's because lack of preparation. Okay, lack of writing test or lack of. Okay, lack of preparation or lack of communication. That is like what you know, what we are writing. So some things are not prepared well. I have not done properly. So something like that. Okay, you might be thinking, but that is not the case. Preparation, definitely not a problem. Please understand. You're preparing everything very nicely. So preparation is not a problem. Even what you're writing, what you're answering, even that is also not a big deal. Okay, that is also not a big deal. But what exactly the problem is? Your fear is the exact problem. Okay, we are losing marks only because of the fear. Initial 10 minutes is very crucial for such kind of competitive exams. Initial 10-15 minutes is very, very crucial. In that 10-15 minutes, if you handle the 10-15 minutes, the remaining 1 hour 50 minutes is going to be fruitful. If you don't know how to handle that 10 minutes and that paper got screwed, please understand that. So, so handling that 10 minutes is very, very important, my dear. Handling 10 minutes is very, very important. So for that, what should be done, I'll tell you. As soon as you get your question paper, you may be thinking every questions are new questions. Every questions are new questions. Like I have not seen this question before. So such kind of mindset you will have while collecting the paper, question paper and all. So please, it's a normal thing. It's very normal thing. And it happens with me and it happens with everyone. It happens 99% of the students are facing that problem. And uh, many of them could come out of that. But many of them, there are few people who are unable to come out from that trauma. We say na, trauma. Okay, the 10 minutes. Okay, that trauma is only affecting. So what exactly to be done in that 10 minutes? Simply if you feel not comfortable or as soon as sir said in two hours, we have to write this or hey, there is so much pressure, leave it. That two hours is not important. Even one hour is more than enough to score 50 marks. Do you agree? One hour is more than enough to score 50 marks. 10 minutes if you just simply sit and just think something else. Just relax yourself. Don't read the questions immediately. Okay, if you feel uncomfortable. Okay, if you feel uncomfortable, what you have to do? 10 minutes, relax. No need to read everything. Okay, I did not know this, that. After 10 minutes, you start writing the exam. Nothing wrong in it. Okay, because I can say, uh, so initial 10 minutes, you please mentally prepare. No, after collecting the paper only, these type of issues will come. After collecting the question paper. So what you have to do? Just sit for 10 minutes, relax yourself. After that, you start writing the solutions. Is that clear, all of you? So please come out of that mindset that immediately I have to solve, I have to solve. That is not the case. Okay, fine. I think... Wait, my dear.
Ah, okay. Listen here. Shh. Break. Come on, dear. Now, break. Up there. King. Come on. Pagal. Come on. Look at me. I am not going to be missing. Wait. Come on. Ah, that's it. Who is it? Okay. Is it wait? Come on. Oh, online lekang okay, lah. Okay, okay. Priyanka, are you there on the slide? Priyanka, are you there online? Okay, listen here. Okay, rest everyone is there. Okay, okay, guys, listen here. Now let us continue. Now, after time value of money, sequence and series. After time value of money, sequence and series. Please listen here. Four to five marks we are expecting from sequence and series. Now, see, there are so many tricks are there in sequence and series. Of course, you are aware about it. Many tricks are there. And the only confusion there is what? Tricks only again. Because of the tricks, we are losing confidence in sequence openly let us have a discussion on it nothing wrong in it okay sir there are so many tricks sir i am not able to remember when what exactly to be done i'll tell you there are some common problems like when a b c are in arithmetic progression what is b plus c c plus a a plus b are in dash see these problems and all what you know simply only one concept a b c are in ap means what 1 2 3 a b c are in gp means what 1 2 4 this you are not going to forget. Are you getting my point, my dear? No one is going to forget this logic. Yes. Second one. Second one. If a 7 plus 7, 7 plus 7, 7, 7 plus dot, 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 up to n terms, sum of n terms to be found out. What is it? Some three terms. Add first to three terms, put n equal to three. That also you are not going to forget. Is that right, my dear? This also you are not going to forget. So what until you will be forgetting? Small, small uh, shortcuts. Small, small shortcuts, definitely you are going to forget. Let it be forget only, now what to do? Don't fight with that. Because these are very important. Which you are remembering, na, that is not very important. What you are forgetting, na, that is not important. Because if it is important, you will not forget it. How you can remember this trick and not that? Because we know, mentally we prepared, these are the questions are very important. These questions, we can take it lightly. So that is the reason we are forgetting some tricks. So nothing wrong in forgetting the tricks. Sir, what to be prepared? How to prepare, sir? How to prepare, sir? Yes, I'll tell you, my dear, how to prepare sequence and series specially. See, not simply we have to solve the questions and wasting our time. Don't do that. Okay, don't do that. Summarize sequence and series. Summarize sequence and series. AP, two parts. What is it? Num terms, finding number of terms, sum of n terms. Finding number of terms, two formulas. What is it? N equal to, that is N equal to L minus A by D plus 1. Finding the number of terms. Total, how many terms are there? That is one formula. Then finding the last term. Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. So these are the two problems. Am I right, my dear? These are the two things. Do you all agree with me or not? Yes. Okay. Got it. Message, ah, okay. Epa, phone uh, silent launching. Okay, keep it in silent mode. Now, listen here. See, when it comes to face to face, let us give that respect. Keep your more phone uh, silent mode. Okay, don't keep on checking your WhatsApp and uh, Telegram. Okay, because now it is mandatory to have mobile phone inside the classroom. Please understand that. Before 2019, I used to get irritated when the people are seeing the mobile phones because I used to get irritated because when I talk, and you people are doing your work. That means I'm getting ignored. And see, the biggest punishment is what? Ignoring other people. Ignoring people is the biggest punishment. So that's what I feel are here. People are ignoring me. But now I myself saying, keep your mobile phone on the desk. Open this, that. See, now technology, we cannot help. But what I'm requesting now, don't use WhatsApp or a Telegram. Don't check those things. So please be uh, focused. Okay, let it be. Now listen here. Number of terms, n equal to L minus A by D plus 1. Then Tn is equal to, or last term is equal to A plus N minus 1 to D plus 1. Only these are the two formulas. Is there is any other formula apart from this, my dear? No other formula. 
no other formula this is arithmetic progression geometric progression again uh, sorry sum of n terms i forgot in arithmetic progression what is sum of n terms formula n by 2 into a plus l for the when you know first term and last term n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d is what yes when you don't know the last term and all when you know the number of terms when you know the number of terms these are the two formulas do we have any formula apart from this no other formula only these two formulas based on that questions can come gp n term tn is equal to what a r power when it comes to gp see i will tell you remember power 2 power 3 there is three power of 2s and power of 3s that one all you remember 2 2 square 2 cube 2 power 4 2 power 5 okay 2 4 8 16 because it will help you it will help you while finding the number of terms and all because remember my dear see when it comes to gp they are not going to ask find the 20th term 30th term and all simply they are going to ask 6th term 7th term this is what they are going to ask in gp they are not going to ask 20, uh, 6, 20th term 10th term or 15th term even that is also uh, not possible 6th term 7th terms just like that they are going to ask for example 6 okay 6 uh, sorry okay 6 18 54 okay 162 what is its fifth term this is the question simply what you'll do 6 6 threes are 18 18 threes are 54 54 threes are 162 162 threes are you will take your calculator just like that you will do and you will get it am i right once you find the common ratio you will take the calculator and you can find out is that clear or not my dear so only by using fingers and by multiplication by using calculator we can find out in geometry progressions actually geometry progression is very simple as compared to arithmetic progression frankly speaking but we find it geometric progression little complicated no actually it is very simple because we just use unnecessary formula unwant unnecessarily we use so many formulas when it comes to sequence and series so what is last for last term for geometric progression tn is equal to a r power n minus 1 or l is equal to a r power n minus 1 is it clear my dear yes this is what geometric progression next is sum of n terms we have got two formulas is that right what is it a into r power n minus 1 divided by r minus 1 or a into 1 minus r power n divided by 1 minus r when to use r power n minus 1 formula when is r is more than 1 when to use r is less than 1 formula when r is less than 1 am i clear my dear say yes or no okay so remember that okay remember that now in this sum of infinity one important formula we have got what is it Yes, infinity. What is it? A by? Very important. Sum up to infinity is very important. Now, in this sequence and series, apart from A, B, C, R, and A, P, A, B, C, R, and G, P, one more type is very, very important. That is special type of sequences. Special type of series. Okay, special type of series, you remember? What is special type of series? I'll show you. What, what? Not only that, not only that. See. Like special type of series is very, very important, my dear. Now look at this. Find the sum of n terms of 1 into 2 into 3 plus 2 into 3 into 4 plus 3 into 4 into 5. It goes on like that. Am I right, my dear? Say yes or no? So, finding sum of n terms. What is it? Finding sum of n terms. Finding sum of n terms. This is comes under special sequence. This is comes under special series. What you have to do? Take first to three terms. Add first to three terms. Put n equal to three in the options. Which are options you are getting? Yes, of course. So, these type of sequence and series problems you are getting. In geometric progression, one more type. Many people are asking again and again. That type, let me tell you orally. What is it? You know, sir, a ball dropped from the height of 100 meters and it touching the ground that is it is bouncing back and uh, coming back in four fifth time something like that is given and uh, to get into rest uh, there is a ball is coming to a rest and to find the sum of distance find the distance that traveled by the ball the total distance traveled by the ball do you remember that see see we have to drop the ball from the top okay we have to drop the ball. no one can see that okay we have to drop the ball from the top and it will touch the ground and it will come back. See, for example, from 100 meters, I'm dropping. 
and the bounces back to 450 meter yeah yeah so 450 time okay bouncing back to 450 time so first uh, from where you are dropping plus 100 meters travel and the next uh, from here i am dropping and it is touching the ground and coming back coming back to then 64 meters am i right my dear acha you said right why two times 80 meters you tell me yes so what exactly happens it is actually touching the ground coming to 80 meters again it will go back to 80 meters na then 64 meters again it will go back to 64 meters so many people are committing mistake here only this distance has to be multiplied by 2 so what exactly will come 100 plus 2 into a by 1 minus r am i right my dear say yes or no is that correct all of you yes a by 1 minus r now this is what your answer if you simplify what you are getting 900 meters correct what is it 900 meters so distance traveled is 900 meters so these problems are little important sums okay these problems are what little important type of sums otherwise what you know sequence and series special type of sequence finding n terms sum of n terms that type is very very important okay that type is very very important don't ignore that sir now in this time if i have to select any topic and i have to prepare and which is the best way of preparing sir what should be done sir take if you have got scanners please take scanners and so start solving the past year questions that is the best preparation now i can say you no need to open my book or your book to prepare no need to open institute material to prepare take scanner and prepare from whatever topic you select and that topic you sit and solve that is more than enough am i clear my dear so that is what you need to do hereafter okay that is the best preparation next please don't talk so as far as sequence and series is concerned this is what very important word problems and all rarely will come in sequence and series rarely comes in sequence series this time our ball is dropping from this top of the this thing now so that is definitely possible but others and all not possible it's pure mathematical chapter so mathematically you approach and as far as tricks are concerned i told you so many tricks but whichever tricks you remember those problems are very important as far as examinations are concerned so only you have that confidence you go see even though sir what if some different question is coming then what i will do sir leave and come what to do that is the only idea i can give you leave and come don't think what if what if what if if you start thinking what if what if what if and you cannot prepare anything either you should trust me or you should trust yourself but if you don't trust either one of us then who is going to be in trouble you only going to be in trouble okay if you want to trust me trust me blindly sir said only this is what important only this is what going to come only that much i'm going to prepare and i'm going to prepare and going to write this trust you have got now please do that only but i don't give this trust in the beginning i'm giving in the last minute only because now we don't have any time where is the time for preparation now just do what i'm saying and just do what i said earlier only that much is more than enough no need to prepare so many things listen here my dear we are not focusing 100 out of 100 are you focusing 100 out of 100 no um, you people laugh at yourselves if you focus but remember sir i am focusing 100 out of 100 sir then what is the idea for uh, that 100 out of 100 for you also i am telling you only one thing follow what i said what i said solve all additional question bank all the numericals from institute materials solve scanners of course that is highly possible learn the concept but majority of you are not focusing 100 out of 100 majority of you can i say focusing 50 marks even if you are 40 comes you are very happy 50 means what you will fly that is what yes so but with my confidence if you are just following only my instruction 65 to 70 i can guarantee you what if the question paper was very difficult like last time again i'm telling you but listen here i was very happy to tell you last time also many of my students could score 42 43 marks last time was the most difficult paper 
करेक्ट ना मेनी ऑफ अवर स्टूडेंट स्कोर फोर्टी टू फोर्टी थ्री मार्क्स आई एम हैप्पी टू अनाउंस दैट दैट इज नॉट दैट इज मोस्ट ऑफ देम प्लीज मोस्ट ऑफ देम क्रॉस फोर्टी फोर्टी टू बट स्टिल दे कुड नॉट क्लियर द पेपर इट इज ओनली बिकॉज ऑफ वॉट इन एग्रीगेट दैट वी कैंट हेल्प सी वेन इट कम्स टू बिफोर द एग्जामिनेशन वी वॉन्ट टू स्कोर फोर्टी फोर्टी टू मार्क्स वेन दैट इज डन and the other papers because of the other papers if we get fired if i am not able to score good marks then the next exam onwards our target increases now this time what is your target i'll tell you because of mathematics only you are going to pass this ca foundation that is what our target should be because if you so score 60 65 marks in mathematics you will never fail 50 also okay but 40 to 43 and all it's possible it is difficult but 60 65 means definitely you are not going to fail in ca foundation exam that is for sure that is for sure so actually mathematics is going to help for passing the ca foundation exam that is actually the savior but we are thinking algebra way sorry accounts will help economics will help no mathematics only going to help so 60 65 minimum you should score so for that only today we are gathering and i'm just telling you i'm just streamlining your preparation now last minute preparation i'm streamlining you what exactly to be done that much only you have to focus so now whatever you remember only that much to be prepared whatever tricks you know whatever remember you that you have to prepare next scanner you take past year questions keep on solving okay it's randomly you select one topic how to prepare you know today you are going home so you have got one hour time so what you need to do randomly select one topic inki pick up onke father as a donkey mathematics statistics or logical reasoning and start solving the scanner questions but remember when you start solving scanner question what exactly going to happen 2007 first question papers and all na first 3 to 4 attempts will be very difficult very very difficult if you ignore that first so whenever you solve now you start from the last recent questions then confidence you will get first four years don't first four attempts don't touch only because after four attempts only they realized ca students may find it difficult these type of question they may find it difficult okay these type of question they may find it difficult so let us not ask these difficult questions and all let us not ask this type of and slowly what you know they reduce the difficult level questions they started focusing into accounts and the law more so you have to start from the recent attempts when you prepare scanner okay yes so sequence and series any doubt you have got in sequence and series you tell me my dear is there is any confusion or anything you want to ask in sequence and series tell me so can we do few problems from sequence and series now yes so that you may, you may get some confidence here now come come sequence and series now it is clear right enama signal strength is a problem correct it is only because of signal strength okay now listen here yes now listen here my dear see this is what we are talking about 14 some can you see that a certain ball when drop the ground rebounds us to 4 fifth of that right yes question number 14 so this is what we are talking about am i right my dear sum of n term sum number 16 look at sum number 16 now i would like to do one problem of course you know it and you are expert but still i would like to do it sum number 15 is it 
15 some i'm doing and look at the uh, length of the problem how big they have solved right but how we are going to solve look at this in a jp if we, p plus q term is m p minus q term is n p plus q term is n m p minus q term is n please all of you listen here please listen this very carefully this is what they have done you have seen the solution also it's a full paper solution full page solution but i am not going to use that one line we are going to get the answer please look at this please listen this my dear what is the condition for gp if first term is a last term is c can you please tell me what is the middle term my dear root ac ah paisa root ac am i right yes now look at this this you remember i always tell you one uh, rule i hope you remember sir p plus qth term is m p minus qth term is n some consider some value for p and q sir consider some value for p and q can we take p as some number and q as some number what value you would like to take 1 and 2 or 2 and 1 1 2 2 and 1 sir why sir 2 and 1 always you take 1 and 2 why you are taking 2 and 1 because here we have got p minus qth term if i take 1 minus 2 what will come minus 1 there is no minus 1 terms at all it is actually either first term or second term like that so best condition is take p as 2 q as 1 q p as 2 q as 1 look at this p plus q the term is m what is mean by p plus q the term is m p is 2 1 am i right my dear is it nothing but third term is m say yes or no p minus q th term what is p minus q th term is first term is n it's in gp am i right what question they ask you to find out p th term what is p second term very good they ask you to find out second term am i right my dear what is first term is what is last term is third term is m what is second term answer over this is what they have done like that am i right my dear see this is what to be approach you understood or not my dear take some value for p and q substitute the values of p and q there and you solve it orally na why we have to use this method is this big method is needed or what is it needed you tell me my dear see this this is rubbish and uh, this one also sum number 16 type also what i told you actually you will get for one term only n equal to 1 you substitute will get it but safer side what we need to do add three terms and keep it aside put n equal to 3 in the option if both are matching that is what going to be your answer am i right my dear say yes or no okay. yes sir now see these are the word problems okay the these are the word problems of course you need to do the word problem that is what we called a statement problem statement problems do not ignore statement problems okay yes now one more shortcut i said one famous sum if m the term is n n the term is m that is p the term is q q the term is p what is p plus q the term zero very good remember this ha huh? remember this p the term is q q the term is p find p plus q the term p the term is q Q the term is P. Find R the term. P plus Q minus R. See, these are standard problems. Am I right, my dear? These are standard problems. They cannot change anything. So, and famous problems. If you remember this, I think that's more than enough. Now, just we can mark and come, and you can easily remember. Now, seventh term is eleven. Eleventh term is seven. What is it? Zero. Zero. Right. And. Uh, these are things what in ap okay these are the things what we have done it in ap sh shortcuts and the mixed series everything we have done now listen here my dear there is one uh, shortcut i hope you remember shortcut hmm. sum of sum of 10 terms is equal to sum of 10 terms is equal to 7 times sum of 20 terms i hope you remember it or not i don't know okay i'll show you what exactly it is can anyone tell me where exactly it is
can you give me the institute material show me the institute material i cannot i am not able to read i'll tell you what exactly the problem is what is page number additional question bank okay Okay, please don't talk. Please wait. Which type we are talking about? I forgot. Yeah, yeah, I remember now. Ram, I remember. I remember. Yes, they are just. It's not getting strike. I forgot the sum number. Please, please wait. please wait yes how i missed it i don't know yeah okay please Shh. listen here this shortcut you remember yes 2n is equal to k times sn for example sum of 20 terms of gp is equal to Do you remember the shortcut or not? Ah, listen here. Please, please don't talk. Nine times s ten, for example. So, yes, two n is equal to k times s ten means the shortcut is find r. If this is the question, r power n is equal to what? K minus one. So what is r power n is equal to here? K is nine, which is nothing but eight. So can I write it as two cube? So n is equal to what? Three. What is n equal to three? Similar type of sums we have done it. Okay, similar type of sum. Ha. Ah. Sum of twenty terms is equal to two forty four times sum of ten terms. Then find the value of r. Sum of twenty terms. Is equal to two forty four times sum of n sum of ten terms. Find the value of r. Simply, what you will do, sir? R power n is equal to two forty four minus one, which is nothing but two forty three. Two forty three or three forty three? What is two forty three? Is three raised to five. Three raised to five. So what is n equal to? Five. Answer is over. What is n equal to five? I think this sum, this sum. Okay, I just remembered now. Okay, fine. Now listen here. This type of question, twenty eighth type, important, my dear. Find the two numbers who AM is ten, GM is eight. What you will do? Simply you will take the option. Simply you will take the options. Two numbers will be given. Find the arithmetic mean of the two numbers. Find the geometric mean of the two numbers. First option B. Sixteen comma fourteen. 
What is arithmetic mean of 16 into 14? Yeah. Hey, arithmetic mean how to find out? 10. Sum of two numbers plus divided by two, na, so 10. Correct. What is geometric mean? Root of? So 64, which is nothing but 8. Is answer is done, my dear? Is our answer is what? 16 comma 4 says or no? Okay. Now, look at this. I would like to tell you how to approach this sum. Please listen here. What exactly given? T7 by T8 is equal to? Thirty. Three zero. T seven by T ten. Ah, sorry, sorry. Is five by seven. Am I right, my dear? Listen here. The question is T eight by T eleven. Of course, sir. Solutions are very big, sir. Who told you to follow this? How to approach ratio between seventh term and tenth term is given. They ask you to find out ratio between eighth term and eleventh term. Is there is any relation between ah next term consecutive terms? Okay, sir. It's in AP, sir. If I know common difference, na sir, I'll add their common difference. My problem is solved, sir. Right? Correct or not, my dear? Answer over. Common difference also I have the shortcut. That shortcut definitely forgotten. I know it. These are the shortcuts we forget. These are the short shortcuts we forget, actually speaking. Because we know the alternative, how to find out D. But this shortcut, you forgot. I know. What exactly you know? D is equal to, I don't know whether you remember it or not. 7 minus 5 divided by 10 minus 7. Is it 2 by 3? What simply I have to do? 5 plus 2 by 3. 7 plus 2 by 3, which is equal to 17 by 3 plus 21 by 23 by 3. Is it 17 by 23, my dear? Say yes or no. Is it not a trick, my dear? It's a nice trick or not? And of course, have you forgotten this trick? Common difference trick we forgot or not? Say like. A, B, C are in A, P means 1, 2, 3 we are remembering and that way we are not remembering this trick. But we know this trick. So on, on time it should come. So what exactly you would have done? Sir, I will take it as T10 equal to 7, T7 equal to 5, A plus 9D is equal to 7 and A plus 6D is equal to 5. Solve it simultaneously. I will get the value of D. This is the alternate method. But I told you directly find the common difference this way. Add common difference. Your answer is over. Am I right my dear? Okay, listen here. Look at this. 30 second sum. Divide 144 into three parts, which are in AP, and such that largest is twice the smallest, and smallest is three num smallest of three numbers will be. See, largest is twice the smallest, and smallest of three numbers will be 144. What is it? 144 divided into three parts. Okay such that largest is twice the smallest. What is it? Largest is twice the smallest. Okay. Now, for example, if largest is twice the smallest, question is what? The smallest of three numbers will be, smallest of three numbers will be, options are given, my dear, 48, 36, 13, 32. Which option you would like to take? Since what? Option A you take. Fine. Now here, since I have the answer, so let me take option 32. If it is the smallest one, smallest is 32, then greatest is going to be 64. Am I right? Say yes or no. This is going to be 48. Am I right? 32, 48, 64. Can you please add? Are they in AP as well as 144? Sir, do you have any Shortcut for this, sir. Of course, we have shortcut for this. I'll tell you. 
first if we take 48 as option so definitely last item must be 96 am i right 96 plus 48 is 144 but sum of three numbers is 144 here sum of two numbers 144 this cannot be answer am i right next one is what 36 first digit is first one is 36 means last one is what add these two 108 144 means what how much to be added now another 36 to be added is it possible this one we believe it 32 that is the only option available now see why you are approaching mathematically when we can approach like this am i right say yes or no okay Yeah, 34th sum. I would like to just give a small hint on it. G is the geometric mean between two numbers A and B, and the value of one by G square minus A square plus one by G square minus B square. Sir, if this sum comes now, sir, I will leave and come, sir. Please don't do that. What exactly it is? G is the geometric mean between A and B. G is geometric mean between. You know our method, sir. One, two, four. Am I right? Can I say two is geometric mean between one and four? Is two is geometric mean between one and four? Say yes or no. Is it right? A is one, B is two, G is sorry, B is four and G is two. Can we take like this? Now substitute, my dear. One by G square, two square minus one square. Is it nothing but three? Plus one by two square. Minus g four square. Sorry, two square minus four square. What is the two square minus four square? Is twelve. Is it minus twelve? Now, what is LCM? Twelve is our LCM. Is it four minus one? So three by twelve, which is one by four, sir. Is that right, my dear? Sir, one by four. I'm getting, but option is not here, sir. Are it's uh, there? What is g is? Is it nothing but one by two square? One by g square. Over. You got my point, my dear. See why we have to use the actual method. Look at the method they have followed. But simply, what we did? Yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Simply, what we did, my dear. Simply, what we did. We took the three numbers one, two, and four, and substituted the value g as two. Yes. This anyone can do it. Am I right? This one anyone can do it. Geometric progression. If three numbers are asked, one, two, four only. You take and proceed, my dear. Don't hesitate. Okay. Okay. Next. Are you ready now? Come on. So. As far as sequence and series concern, at least this much you remember and go, my dear. Of course, you know it. You know it. I'm just revising. That's it. These are the problems we are not supposed to leave and all. Next, what is next topic? Your favorite, my favorite, everybody's favorite: permutation and combination. Correct, na? Yes. Sirik, what is there is? See, I'll tell you honestly. You tell me, my dear. Is it not our favorite now? At least that finger type problems. Together, not together, alphabets. Of course, you remember, right? Equation, vowels. See, I can tell you, my dear. I can vouch. Let the word problem comes in permutation. You can easily answer each and every question. For example, uh, triangle. In how many ways triangle can be arranged so that vowels are together? How many are there? Three vowels, five consonants, and vowels are together. What is the answer? Hmm. How did you know that? So you're remembering it. So permutation combination, you should not get scared. Let others get scared. Why you are getting scared when you know this? Am I right, my dear? When you know this, see, simply what we do, sir. Five consonant, three vowels. Three are together. Three factorial and total. Six. Three are not together. That's it. See how smartly you are giving the answer. Five, five, two. That means you are remembering it. Everyone is giving the answer. Yes. So permutation combination is done. Don't leave it. And remember, shh, wait, wait. See, the meaning of done is what you know. You should not get scared. You should not get scared when it comes to see. I'll tell you. Combination seems very simple. 
very easy permutation is complicated but actually you are more confident in permutation than combination i can give it in writing that okay let the question these type of question come from permutation eh avan enna va thoongra okay let the question come from permutation okay let the question come from permutation you can simply you can solve it my dear and uh, one more thing i said finding the values of n r kind of problems right did i tell you that or not that is very important but we ignore that okay it's very simple sir why should you prepare compulsorily one or two questions are coming from the type compulsorily one or two questions are coming from the type if you want you can check this please listen here i'll show you wait as i always tell you please ignore the first four four attempts first ignore the first four attempts ah, okay now look at this sum number 12 for example what is it 6pr is equal to 24 times 6c or something like that am i right they ask you to find out the value of r this is what i'm trying to tell you find out the value of r these are the types which i am trying to tell you in every attempt these type of questions are continuously they are coming look at this is it there sum number 11 sum number 15 oi sharil the world is laughing at us ha huh? okay see whenever you do such kind of questions you will come across so don't leave that when it comes to combination please listen here when it comes to combination when it comes to combination you are not supposed to worry about combination because even i taught not now for not for your batch the previous batches and all even i taught so many unwanted questions i know it okay but in your batch whatever i taught that is more than enough to score 3 to 4 marks to see what we do you know to show our skill as a faculty to show our skill see i know this much to empower you to so there is to show yes i know this for that reasons we teach so many things which is not needed okay and you also what you feel if all the questions are very simple you will feel that no 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 sir is not solving difficult questions only so he doesn't know about difficult questions that is what you will feel okay but actually speaking if my target is 60 marks or 65 marks i should not teach those questions of course i know those questions which is not needed my target is 65 marks 60 to 65 marks if 60 65 marks if you score definitely you are not going to fail in this examination so if at all 60 65 marks means only those questions whatever i said the simple questions only that part you have to solve and to go you no need to do so many things see how much marks 40 marks mathematics 40 marks 4 to 5 marks is going to disturb you and definitely you are not going to do anything with that 4 to 5 marks 4 to 5 marks you are not going to get answer remaining 30 questions are going to be just like that you will score my dear but we are working for that 10 marks we are losing the 30 marks so please believe in me only simple simple questions from combination you solve and go especially whichever institute you are going through all the institute materials don't follow institute material institute means your coaching institute material i am talking about sir can i follow our icai material don't follow that either don't follow that either because even that is also confusing then what should i do sir only please remember my dear close your eyes think the lectures whatever we did earlier only that part you just just remember and go revise and go and if you have got my video lectures only that lectures now you please keep it in two speed into two speed and start watching the lecture that is more than enough to score two to three marks out of four marks if two to three marks come from permutation without doing anything why should we leave that okay but if you start prepare from institute material or coaching institute material and all definitely you are going to get confused especially digit problems 
digit problems of course direct questions also there some complicated questions also there for example 1 2 3 4 5 given digits find the number okay how many numbers are there uh, which is more than 300 even numbers which is more than 300 this is the question three cases will come it can be a three digit number four digit number five digit number all three cases in that first case two subdivisions will come i solved it in the classroom after i solved it in the classroom i told you either if the sum comes you remember the answer is 111 the answer is 111 i remember it i think 111 only yeah 111 or don't try this sum either you remember the answer or don't try this sum these are the only two things can happen my dear these are the only two things can happen and we enjoyed solving rank positions uh, like google and uh, what is it zenith and all we enjoyed solving but i am telling you one thing you enjoyed it and now you are confident if the sum comes yes definitely i am going to get good marks but so far they have not asked this type of questions please remember it's a such a two page sum actually speaking it's a two page sum i still remember when i was teaching for 11th standard students i did because there you cannot use a shortcut na so we have to do the two page method so so far they have not asked if the teacher comes to know the trick which we used the examiner if he comes to know the trick which we used then the question can come okay this question can be solved in 20 seconds time so let the student solve it otherwise if that student teacher there is the examiner doesn't know about the trick what we used sir i think i don't think they will be asking this question because it's very lengthy question but prepare because it's matter of time only 10 15 seconds you can just watch and go that's it so permutation combination n r n value r value finding method at least from institute ic institute problems initial first five problems are based on that only and in combination also initial 10 problems are based on that only you prepare that much and go okay and word problems comes when it comes to word problems equation triangle bharat such kind of balloon balloon mississippi and all we solved am i right my dear mississippi balloon and all those things you can prepare and go in permutation if you prepare that part together particular together not together only these three types we did once you remember this type problem is over but it is nothing to do with digit problems when it comes to digit problems you have to be very careful am i right my dear when it comes to digit problems you have to be very careful either solve it if you are comfortable or what can be done leave and come don't fight i am telling you again don't fight sir you are telling everything leave and come leave and come then what should i write sir see i am telling you three questions you are able to answer one question only you are unable to answer in every chapter one one question see 30 marks 25 to 30 marks definitely I, but my target is 20 marks only i said but in this way if you do 25 to 30 marks you can score what is needed my dear okay this is what we need to do with permutation combination any doubt in permutation combination anything you would like to ask in permutation combination anything you would like to ask in permutation combination tell me think speed is and or download speed okay so in the Like say, three, four, 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 three, Two minutes, my dear. Ah, how much? How much? You go air tell out. Sir, bring ma the laptop. Air tell, all that are there. Is it in there? 
ஆக்டர் நல்லதுங்க இப்ப கிளாரிட்டி இருக்கும் பாருங்க என்னாச்சு போயிடுச்சு ஏ வாட்டா பண்ண சார கொடுங்க சார கூட்டி கொடுங்க just i just now only realize what exactly the problem is we got two connections one is act and airtel airtel is inside that is a little slow and uh, now i change the internet connection i think now it will be great ma sir points parunga enna parunga idilla sir projector and off air irukku sir okay yes listen here i understand you are talking about this uh, this one oh hey online students please wait then my project renovation paathra vandicha அது என்ன பண்ணும் அதுலயே தானே பண்ணும் எல்லாமே அதுல ஷேர் ஸ்கிரீன் கொடுக்கணுமா how how is the clarity i i just found out what exactly problem was okay yes it's nice na now okay enough ba enough ba pa sanda pro bolla ba ba hey listen here ஏ ஒன்னே ஒன் மட்டும் பண்ணாதீங்க பாடி நான் பேசும்போது உங்களுக்குள்ள நீங்க பேசிக்காதீங்க ஓடிட்டாங்களா எப்ப ஏ யார் பாத்து பேக் வச்சுட்டு ஆன்லைன்ல உட்காந்து உட்காந்துருவா கீழே ஒருத்தர் பாட்டு கேட்டுட்டு இருந்தாரு 
இருக்கலாம <laughs> 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 See, based on this rule, this is very important. N C R plus N C R minus one equal to N plus one C R. Thousand C ninety five. Thousand C sorry, not thousand. Ah, some me naadatri. Kala kriya bo. Nine ninety nine C ninety two something. Okay, let me put. Let me put. Okay, then nine ninety nine C. Nine not one, x c nine not one. If this is a question, find the value of x. Find the value of. Listen here. Shh. Don't think anything, my dear. It should be thousand. See, this has to be of the form of this is the only form n c r plus n c n minus n c r minus one only. So nine ninety nine plus one. What is it? Thousand. That's it. This much only I have to do. Am I clear, my dear? Say sir, no. Okay. Fine, come here. See what a clarity, ah! You know, here it's all right, chilla. Unmele, na devi gauni ka mudan thala. Ipo ida. Ah okay. Ah fine. Listen here. Okay. Now, I think this is what sequence and series permutation combination over sequence series over. Now, listen here. Hey, pa, pa, sir, pa, come here, pa. Now, hard up, pa. Three point over. Hello, hello. Okay, listen here. Next one is sets, relations, and functions. See, as far as sets, relations, and the functions is concerned, as far as sets, relations, and functions are concerned, how many of you are planning to leave this topic? Raise, be honest, be honest. Okay, I am very happy to have only these many people because I used to, I, I was expecting around the twenty-five students will lose, leave this topic, but I am very happy you took. the lecture seriously that is the reason you did not raise your hand sets relation function is actually very simple topic it is actually scoring do you agree with me or not it's yeah. scoring and we want a few more questions from even that relations also if question comes now you know a a b b c c that condition also you know it okay but those type of questions rarely they are asking rarely they are asking they are asking uh, this question smaller than is perpendicular to reciprocal these type of questions it's coming in relations from relation functions odd function even function okay odd function how to identify odd function how to identify even function inverse function these questions they are asking composite function 
I just taught you four functions. Only those four functions you prepare and go. If luck goes well, question can be asked from that four function. See, what I'm telling you is, anyhow, we are going to leave the topic. Instead of leaving, only that four function you go through and go. That is what logic I told you in the beginning also. Four functions and go. How to solve? Because it's very simple. Inverse function, you know how to find out. Composite function, f of g of x, g of f of x, you know how to find out. These things and all you can easily find out. Say yes or no. So that you find out and go. 90% questions will come from this only. Only this. But remaining 10% contingency we keep. Anything else they asked. Then what to do? Leave and come. That 90% chance we should take it or not. 90% chance we should take it or not. You tell me my dear. That's it. So for that 90% what to be prepared? This is what we need to prepare. Okay. Next step. This is what function and relation. As far as sets are concerned, of course, uh, very simple, but we always now when it comes to sets, we always think about Venn diagram problems. Yeah. Correct? But Venn diagram problems, rarely questions are coming. Then what type of questions they are asking more, sir? I'll show you. Huh? Ah, I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. Ah, okay, come here. Hey, guys, guys, come here. Ah, okay, yes, please listen here. As usual, first uh, four papers I'm not going to use only. Now, listen here. Now, for any two sets, A and B, A intersection, a dash union B equal to dash. This is the question now. Sir, we will leave, sir. Because I don't know what to be done, sir. Don't say that. I will tell you. See, since there is A dash, please, please listen here. What I'm telling you is, take some universal set. Let me take one, two, three. A. Anything you take, okay? One, two. B. Two, three, something like that. So only two elements to be taken. Are three elements also you take, my dear? That is your wish. First, A dash union B. What is A dash? Ah, I think no, no. It's two, none again. Only three. Is it right? Only three. Ah, participants should be close, no? Nothing to do with the, nothing to do with the participants. So A dash is three. Am I right? A dash is three. Am I right or not? If A is one comma two means A dash is three only, na? Okay. A dash union B is what? Two, three. Okay. A intersection A dash union B. A intersection, ba. Only two. Now let me check. A intersection B. What is A intersection B is? Two. So his answer is option A. No Venn diagram and all needed, right? No Venn diagram and all. Sir, I find Venn diagram very simple. Right? Go ahead, my dear. No problem at all. Okay, that is your wish. Okay, Venn diagram for the what you will do? First in the A dash union B. Okay, A dash union B. First A dash mark one. Is this A dash? Okay. A dash union B. Now.
is this a dash union b a dash b rendu thimanna b only will come na next see a dash union b just now only we said what we are getting b only na that is the answer only what is a dash union b b a dash union b is what b just look at this the venn diagram you can see that sir a dash union b is b only sir apna a intersection b only the answer na directly we are getting it so next a intersection b what is it answer over sir this is the portion that's it ellam kan time waste panningla edutha onna tappu na onnu this logic should be there direct logic or otherwise this logic should be there am i right my dear but don't ignore next listen here so not only venn diagram my dear so if, as far as function is concerned f of x is given g of x is given they ask you to find out very difficult question f of g of minus 3 am i right you will find f of g of x first after finding f of g of x x is equal to minus 3 will put and you will get it are you see how simple questions they are asking in the exam that's what i'm telling you don't leave sets relation function if four questions are coming at least two to three try to score okay now listen here a is subset of b then which one of the following is true see if a is subset of b which one is following true okay sir how to check this sir look at this my dear if you want to check don't think this is simply what a is subset of b na a let me take 1 2 b let me take 1 2 3 now is it a subset of b is a subset of b okay now yes, find sir. a intersection b 1 2 is it nothing but b oh, sorry a is it nothing but a say or no so is there is any option see over you got me point my dear see that's it next step i think this function see how simple question they are asking function f of x minus 1 is sir they did not give f of x sir they gave what f of x minus 1 sir and the question they asked you to find out f of x plus 1 sir wow is it in the same answer is only done b in kuduthirukanga equal to b ama no a only because it is given a is subset of b and kann olunga therla na paath solunga a is subset of b or a is superset of b is given subset na so which is the smaller set here is a smaller or b smaller a is smaller so intersection will be the smaller set na so intersection will be the bigger set or what ah, that's it over na Super set could that be? If it is super set, yes, of course, be. Ah, uh, look at this. B is super set of A. Am I right? This is what B is super set of A. Correct. That's the answer over B is super set of A means A intersection B. What is A intersection B again? Smaller set only. What is the answer? Smaller set only will be the answer. No changes. Okay. If it is union, sir. bigger set will be the answer. Okay. Now, can you come to this? Yes, sir. Sir, option B also correct, na sir. You can't name theory, madam. Option B also correct, right? Yes, option B also correct. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Sir, which one I should mark, sir, in the examination? I think they did some mistake. Both A and B option has to come. Both B and C. Ah, uh, all the above. Very good. Now listen here. Shh. Now look at this. F of x. Can't be done. Don't get angry. F of x minus one equal to. Please keep quiet. Listen here. X square minus four x plus eight. Then they ask you to find out f of x plus one. F of x minus one is given, and f of x plus one they ask you to find out. Kunja unga. That is uh, all of you. Sorry, in Tamil base. Okay, all of you. Please think differently and give me some suggestion. if this is the problem think differently don't look at the solution i don't like the solution wow i can hear something what is it enach ma solunga
ओके नॉलेज नहीं है सब्सिट्यूट द वैल्यू वा ओके बट आउंगे खुर्दे दे एफ ऑफ एक्स माइनस वन ली ना देन व्हाई इट इस सब्सिट्यूट दे आर डायरेक्टली गिवन एफ ऑफ एक्स माइनस वन स्टार्ट ओके वॉट दे सिंपली सर यू नो एक्स माइनस वन दे आर राइटिंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ एक्स माइनस वन दोल स्क्वेर दैट इज एक्स माइनस वन फॉर्मेट एंड दे आर रिप्लेसिंग देर इट एस एक्स प्लस वन दैट इज वन वे ऑफ डूइंग वॉट एक्सैक्टली द अदर वे ऑफ डूइंग आई एम आस्किंग यूज देर इज एनी अदर मेथड वी अगॉट जस्ट आई एम आई एम आस्किंग योर हेल्प बिकॉज आई लर्न सो मेनी ट्रिक्स फ्रॉम यू ओनली माई स्टूडेंट्स ओनली टॉट मेनी ट्रिक्स you tell me anything you are thinking sir this way can we approach okay what do you want to take you want to take x is equal to 2 let me take x is equal to 2 that means what x is equal to 2 means it is given f of 2 minus 1 what is f of 2 minus 1 is f of 1 is we have to substitute x as 2 what is x is equal to 2 4 Minus eight plus eight, so which is nothing but four only, correct? Say yes or no. But what exactly we are achieving from here? Very good. Now f of x plus one. What is f of x plus one? Is f of three. Now please listen here. This is very important. Here, three can be written as what? See f of three means where you will substitute. You want to substitute in you know, where to substitute? Options. What you'll get? <laughs> so what is the point in substitution? So here, in this case, if these type of sums comes, of course you know how to do it actual method, but do not approach any shortcuts and all. I have shortcut, but I don't want to teach now. That is unnecessary confusion. What we have to do? F of x minus one given na right hand side. See, I told you everything. f of rajnikanth if for left hand side rajnikanth is there means right hand side also we need everything in terms of rajnikanth do you remember if x of x minus 1 is there on the left hand side right hand side also we need x minus 1 so that is what they have splitted and do it did my dear that is what they have splitted and did it am i right say yes or no okay yes it's a it's a it's of course this is out of the box question according to you this is out of the box question okay fine now what about this fog f of g of x they ask you to find out what is it f of g of x pa ni vella pombodhu naanga oru vishayam pesnom pa rendu per irukkaangala ortham irukana foundation nu panna liya enga petta da ha enroll pan okay in the school in the or उटू <laughs> 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 g of x is x by root of 1 minus x square rendu onna dhaan irukke plus 1 minus ah one plus minus enak rendu minus ah therudhu sorry no no i have to get glass ah, okay now question is f of g of x can you please do this sum without looking at the solution bye hey, solution podunga idhu solution podu da avano ओ क्वेश्चन ही तेरे लिया
yes are you there acha you are there only no sorry it's it's a uh, online class <laughs> okay now listen here see have you got the answer long process but they didn't two met the two steps they did in two steps see only got this lcm to be taken properly and we have to do it ada now idea sonna parolya ana innu konjam complicated a poidum it will be little more complicated because shh. please please enna ma root la irukiradnala complicated Uh, ये If this question, if at all comes, it will take, it will kill your time definitely because you know how to solve, you know how to solve, and what exactly they are asking that you know it. But at the same time, if you start doing it, it will kill your time. Do you agree with me or not, my dear? It is definitely going to kill your time, sir. Then in that case, what to be done? Just don't leave. I am not telling everything to be left out. Leave it means what you know. You have to keep this aside. you have to keep this aside not at the beginning okay not at the beginning because we know it see few people are comfortable with square root many people are not comfortable with square root many people are not comfortable with square root actually because of the square root only we getting confused if only if without root only x by x 1 plus x square and x by 1 minus x square is there can you just like that you can you solve it out not my dear only root is extra and we are getting confused now tell me i'll do that look at this ha ah. ha ah, a substitution number is possible see actually what is it what he is saying you know sir substitute any numbers are there is see that is the best idea what we can say but why i did not tell you that number i'll tell you root of root has come i told you root has come 1 plus x square right so what value will take excess Three. What is three square? One plus three nine. Again, root ten is going to be there. But when you take root, when you take three, one minus x square is there. What is one minus x square? Minus eight. So within the root, a negative number is coming. So definitely, we should take the fraction number one by two, one by three, such type of number to be taken. Such type of number to be taken. So I. we don't want you to put those numbers so in this case actually what you know putting some value is more difficult complicated than what actual method i'll tell you what is f of x is x by root of actually this is very simple g of x is f of g of x what is it f of g of x they ask you to find out see Now listen here. Wherever x is there, we have to replace g of x, right? So what is g of x is? Am I right, my dear? This is what we are getting. A x square means what is whole square? Whole square is that right? Because x square is given. So what is it, sir? X by root of One minus x square. What is x by root of one minus x square? The whole square is. Is it x square by one minus x square? Hey, pa, tell me, my dear. X square by one minus x square. Now take LCM. One plus x square minus x square under root. Everything will come under root. Divided by. This also square root get eliminated, right? One minus x square. Cut, cut. Sir. Both are under root. It is getting cancelled. X is the answer. Am I right, my dear? I will tell you one thing. If you want to take one calculative risk, but don't tell this to anyone. And I am recording also. 
divided by so no square root will be there right what minus x oh so youtube is what exactly happened now fine let it be see most of the cases if you want to take some uh calculative risk just look at the option x is the best answer mostly mostly i'm recording it is there on youtube people will laugh at me but listen here this is just a calculative risk this is pure calculative risk nothing like that okay answers can be what most of the time x is the answer this type of complicated questions if x option is there just close your eyes and come solve and come mark and come that is the final uh, thing what we can do but you should not take that risk at the beginning at last you can take by the time what you are settled and definitely that uh, decision can be taken easily okay now listen here hey pesadinga ye moin noin inde irukinga chinna pasanga mari yes whatever where is 25th this one a can you <laughs> plus or minus 2 right it is plus or minus 2 no i am struggling to read that's it a is plus or minus 2 plus or minus 3 b is 149 f is okay it's a relation 2 4 minus 2 4 okay f is defined as youtube la lecture varudha paarenga na pause panni vechirukken dilin ke adu vandu irukken paarenga okay now listen here 1 to 1 function from a into b 1 to 1 function from a on to b i think uh, very simple question what is a a is nothing but is it right my dear Shh, please b is 149 now tell me what is r that is f 2 comma minus 3 comma apro that's it Shh, please i hope you know this is domain this is my range what are domains 2 minus 2 3 minus 3 sir domain all the elements has got image sir fine look at this 2 minus 2 3 minus 3 what is range what is uh, b 1 4 9 now tell me 2 comma 4 okay minus 2 comma 4 okay 3 comma 9 okay minus 3 comma 9 only na 4 ah okay yeah i'm four kutan kala okay minus 3 comma 4 now look at this it is actually what many to one am i right my dear and also into one element is extra a yeah. you understood or not yeah. many to one into is there option d is our answer is right d only correct simply we can do it now you just draw the map draw the diagram venn diagram and connect it many to one and also into have you taught this or not my dear everything has been taught to you but only thing is what we need to take the call when what to apply is that right next okay now listen here okay wait 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 சவுண்ட் கம்மி பண்ண சொன்னா கதவை மூடுங்க பேசுறது உள்ள கேக்குது எஸ் லிசனியா ஆஃப் கோர்ஸ் யூ நோ திஸ் ரிஃப்ளெக்சிவ் சிமெட்ரிக் கான்செப்ட் அண்ட் ஆல் ரைட் கேன் யூ ப்ளீஸ் செக் யுவர் ஓன் ஆன் யுவர் ஓன் டெல் மீ மை ஐடியா திஸ் क्वेश्चन 1 1 2 3 2 2 3 3 1 comma 2 a is 1 2 3 tell me ayyo sir answer e kuduthu thanga sir tell me what is this 
Is it reflexive? You know the concept for reflexive, right? One, one, two, two, three, three. Reflexive. Sir, should I check symmetry? Not needed. Why? No, no, no. Reflexive option is there, na? This is not given, na? Reflexive, symmetric, but not uh, transitive is not given, na? Only reflexive is there. So let me check only. First, you will check reflexive only. Ah, equivalent is there, of course. For equivalent, we need to check the other things, of course. Is it symmetry? No, na? It is not symmetry. 2 comma 3 means we need 3 comma 2. Shocking away, parking la mom. Yabo Rukha Ilia, my daughter. Ilia Bodo, or a Jordi Motobo. Ilia Yeah, listen here. Yeah, not transitive. Okay, please listen here. Mostly, what you know. What exactly happens? They don't teach this in the classroom. This type of questions. No one teaches in the classroom. Okay. They themselves decide as a faculty, they themselves decide students will not come to, will not understand. And you are also thinking that only. But actually speaking, the people who are learned this from me, reflexive symmetry and the transitive, you will accept, you will expect this type of questions in the exam or not. If it comes, I can easily answer. Say yes or no. Symmetry means 2 comma 3 means 3 comma 2 is needed. You will check 2 comma 3, 3 comma 2 is there or not. Transitive also, you know, you will not check transitive here. In this case, you are not going to check transitive. Why it is not needed? No, no need to check only. Symmetric is not possible, it is not equivalent only. Na? Then why should it check for transitive? That's it. See, actually, it's very simple. So now you will agree with me. Sir, so set relation function is actually what? Scoring, okay, you are not supposed to leave. Okay, yes. Okay, I want you to do 35th sum idea, inverse function. Inverse. G of X is F inverse of X, then find G of X. That means find F inverse of X. F of X is given, find F inverse of X. 35. I did it. I got the answer. 35 pa. Oh, now I'm marching. I got the answer. X plus. Wow, fantastic. Super bright. X plus sign by and see. Another book layer. I'm going to buy. Now I'm marching. And the part I kill about children on this very Ulog bold answer solemn dear. Adam Bab found the path to solemn Ula bold answer for Namdia Pandra. Sound about the Terinula, boldness about the Terinula near Corporate. Neither Niedo Sola la Sola, Nina Soldra. Okay. Now listen here. What is our method? You tell me. We have got one special method. What is our method? y is equal to 10x minus 7. 10x is equal to y plus 7. x is equal to y plus 7 by 10. What do you want to say? F inverse of x and replace y as? Yeah. 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 Is what inverse function x plus 7 by 10. Is that right? Yeah. Sir, but you said after reading the question, you said you got the answer, sir. This like what you know, coefficient of x will come in the denominator. That I know. Okay, coefficient of x should come in the denominator because inverse function means that coefficient will come in the denominator. And uh, this is minus 7. Minus 7 will become plus 7. So simply what I did, you know, x plus 7 divided by 10. 10x minus 7 is there, na? Simply what I did, x minus I made it as plus. x plus 7 divided by coefficient of x. For example, give me inverse of x just by looking at the question. See, that's it. X minus 2 by 3. See how smartly we are giving the answer. Correct. Now, x minus 2 by 3. Am I clear or not, my dear? Say yes or no. Ah, that's it. Then no more pondering about. 
okay see if the questions complicated questions are coming from function you don't do that only okay rarely they are asking fine these questions from sets can you give me the answer for 48 option b option b it is not reflexive am i right definitely not reflexive is that right oh okay okay ah it is not reflexive for sure why it is not reflexive can you tell me superb very good 3 comma 3 not there is it symmetry hey symmetry it is symmetry option is not there but it is symmetry okay is it transitive of course it is transitive it is transitive but not reflexive sir how it is transitive sir look at this 1 comma 2 2 comma 1 second and first element got eliminated what is it 1 comma do we have 1 comma 1 so it is transitive it is transitive but not it is symmetry not reflexive correct it is actually symmetry transitive and not reflexive so they are asking these type of questions i hope you believe me then ha ah, sir they are asking sir we are not wasting our time sir ah, okay hey please don't talk yourself listen here okay if anything you would like to ask you let me know that part only i'll explain now Listen here. Why here it is different? Okay. Hey, not see. Can you? Okay. 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 Now listen here. Please, please listen here. Okay. Now recently asked question will take the set of cubes of a natural number is infinite. infinite very good in the set of all straight lines in a plane which of the following is not true set of points in a plane okay wait wait in the set of all straight lines on a plane which of the following is not true parallel to an equivalence relation perpendicular to a symmetric relation perpendicular to an equivalent relation parallel to the reflexive relation please remember this it's a out of the world out of the box question perpendicular to the equivalence relation perpendicular to the equivalence relation just remember it okay it's out of the moon question next step say f of x is given this type is important my dear this time also i can expect f of x is 2x for x is more than 3 Between one and three and less than one. Okay, f of minus one equal to plus f of two plus f of four. They ask you to find out. Tell me f of minus one. See, there are three functions we have got. 
Which function we have to take? F of minus one means last function. Very good. F of two. X square is it right? F of four. Is it nine? That's it. Okay. Yes. Now listen here. Okay. Now listen here. If I relate, if a related to b, if and only if the difference of a and b is an even integer, the relation is. See, these are actually what you know, relation type only, but not that simple to answer. Okay, not that simple to answer. We have to take example. We have to check and we have to do it. If directly relations are coming, yes, of course we can do it. But these are what you know, not direct questions. Okay, something what you know indirectly they are asking. Can you read it? It is a if a, a is related to b, if and only if the difference in a and b is an even integer. So what we have to do is difference in a and b is what even integer. For example, one and three. The difference between a and b is what. So, is it an even integer? So, this type of functions only they are asking you to take. So, the explanations are given. I don't think it is worth investing time on it. It is. I don't think it is worth investing time on it. So, let us get into the next part, my dear. Can you find out inverse sum number thirty-four? Ninety-four. Sorry, ninety-four. One minus, one minus very good okay so what is it one minus one okay listen here Please listen here. I don't want to just ignore this. Let me just teach you, okay? Because as I come across, I don't want you to leave. I don't want you to skip. What exactly the question is? Because it's not a very difficult question. Very simple question. A, if A is related to B, there is a relation between A and B. The difference between A and B is on what even integer. That's what I said. The difference between A and B is on what even integer. Now look at this, my dear. Let me take some number. First, reflexive means what? It should be two comma two something like that. Am I right, my two comma two one comma one like that? Now two comma two. What is difference between two and two? Zero. Is zero is an even integer? Yes, zero is an even integer actually. Zero is an even integer. So it is reflexive. It is what reflexive. Next step. Symmetry. We need to check. What is it, sir? Take any two number. Ah, uh, two comma four, four comma two. Very good. What is the difference between two and what is two minus four? That is okay. Difference okay minus two. And what is the difference? What is subtraction four minus two? Are they even integer again? Both are. Hey, negative number also integer only, na? So they are even integer. Say yes or no. Okay, next step. Let me take like this. Two comma four. Four comma six and two comma six. Is it what uh, transitive? Okay. What is difference? Is minus two, minus two, minus four. Sir, even integer only, sir. So it is actually reflexive symmetry and uh, transitive. Therefore, equivalence will be the answer. You got my point, buddy. It is equivalence only the answer. Is that right? If I any doubt, you please ask me. Hey, people on screen, any doubt? You ask me. You understood this? Yes, so yeah. Okay.
fine last but not least what is it differential ah different uh, differential and integral calculus we have got shortcut in calculus especially integral calculus only shortcuts we used of course you remember and uh, don't leave that do not leave i know i'm not sure whether those shortcut problems are going to come in the exam or not we are preparing if at all it comes will i be able to answer it or not that is a question because integration recent times one questions maximum one or two questions maximum they are asking okay so only that much is more than enough for that one mark or maximum two marks i don't want to confuse you unnecessarily by solving big big questions i may expect some unwanted question also this time i may expect some unwanted question this time but still i don't want to i don't want you to prepare for it i don't want you to prepare for it is that right my dear i don't want you to prepare for it because waste of time so whatever i did from derivatives in parametric function of course very simple simple questions why you have to define parametric means at square into 280 like that my dear and implicit function you know it dy by dx is minus of differentiate the numerator differentiate the denominator with respect to y that shortcut see and the x power y x power m into y power n is equal to x plus y the whole power n plus n dy by dx is y by x see these are few problems with shortcuts and derivative of x power x is what x power x into 1 plus log x integral of x power x is what x power x into 1 plus log x is what only x power x so these are the few shortcuts few important concepts you have to go through and go if you want i think sir after you are telling me i think i'm not able to relate sir then you do one thing go and watch that session because i took integration i completed entire integration one hour or one and a half hours maximum maximum one and a half hours people are taking six hours to complete that integration derivatives another six hours total put together we used four to five hours to complete derivatives and integration and in that derivatives application of derivatives very important i did two three sums application of derivatives do you remember that average cost marginal cost kind of questions so that that maximum minima and all so that you need to prepare my dear without fail yes Pre with, because that is compulsory question maximum minima or uh, application of derivative is compulsory question okay only those two types you prepare and go if luck goes well only any one of those type type question will be asked sir if not what if some different question come leave and come see we don't know what exactly the questions are going to come we don't know what exactly the questions are going to come but if we keep on thinking what examiner is thinking then you will never clear this paper okay because examiner has got some limitation he will be using past year questions as his reference for example if i have got experience in setting the question paper i have got a pattern that i am going to follow it is based on the past year questions only i told you initial first four chart first four years always remove don't prepare why i said fresh pattern even they don't have any reference question paper they did not have any reference question paper so what they do they give the questions on their own so first initial papers always what difficult but in ca foundation first paper was very simple sir after conversion of cpt ca foundation when they prepare they took it from where cpt questions but when they are preparing cpt there is no there were no past year questions that is what the reason initially what they started using unwanted questions and after that realized this is not there in the syllabus that is not there in syllabus and they started removing it see these are simple simple logic so don't think what examiners are going to think okay according to me 80 questions are going to be very simple and uh, remaining 20 may be difficult and the 20 is going to ruin that 80 i am just safeguarding you from that 20 question only it should not ruin your remaining 80 question so that's what i simply say leave 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 you people will be laughing sir whatever asking is saying leave 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 if any disk any difficult questions if i they, they take any difficult questions if i ask any doubt sir why you are solving it i solve and after that i say no i told you this in the lecture also any difficult question let us solve but after that what i say 
don't do it because it is not necessary it is not necessary are you getting my point my dear yes now as far as derivatives and integration is concerned please prepare that application of derivatives which is very important and which plays very vital role in the examination and one more thing i would like to tell you <coughs> uh sir this may attempt is it going to be difficult sir because this question will come many of you are go, uh, coming across this question sir may attempt na sir many of them are repeaters are going to write this attempt so that means every time may attempt is always challenging last time november was challenging means may will be what more challenging than november that's what you will be thinking but remember my dear i am not thinking in that direction because may is not meant for repeaters anymore why you are Ill, there is the 12th standard students are eligible to write in the may attempt itself in south india especially in tamil nadu that trend has not yet come after completing 12th only you people start thinking about the ca foundation but north side telangana andhra pradesh when you go there they start preparing it from 11th and to 12th so 12th standard 12th standard they complete in the month of march and may month they are going to write the foundation exam so don't think that only repeaters are going to write may that is wrong okay and uh, many people are going to write even freshers also going to write many freshers are going to write small kids 12th standard kids are going to write last year you were small kids now you are big kids okay so small kids are going to write the paper question paper will be like that only so don't uh, expect so many things what we have to do simply how to secure 60 marks that is what our aim should be that securing 60 marks is not a big deal in the last paper if you could score 45 marks and this time definitely most of you will cross 55 60 but you need some confidence okay it is based on your confidence only am i clear my dear yes now as far as mathematics is concerned anything you would like to ask yes sir are you going to do statistics like this or uh, logical reasoning like this i don't think statistics and logical reasoning like this type of revision is not needed because remember your institute material is the best material for statistics and uh, again one more time revising repeating statistics what to be done anyone who are attending this is my first session can anyone uh, anyone attending this is sir this is the first time i'm seeing you this is my first uh, lecture which i'm attending sir can you please raise your hands okay so three four five people are there for you one small information i give because the other people definitely knows what exactly i'm going to tell you three types of questions expected what are the three types of question expected in statistics theory concept based practical questions pure practical questions set a theory questions set b concept question set c there is pure pure practical additional question bank is what 90% theory some questions may be asked okay this is what the setup is your institute material setup is like this only now which one we prefer most while preparing preparation set c we prepare actually we prepare set c in the classroom set c only we prepare but in the examination set c questions are not going to come from where the questions are going to come a b and additional question bank okay a b and additional question bank for you the peep one uh, one small uh, thing set a you prepare set b you prepare and the directly what additional question bank if at all you get a chance to see my lecture statistics lecture introduction lectures alone fast track introduction and our regular batch introduction simply watch and go you have no need to prepare anything of course you agree with me you have no need to go through set b and additional question bank also only that half an hour 45 minutes of every chapter you just watch and go that will give you more clarity and the theoretical distribution theoretical distribution binomial distribution half an hour introduction wise and distribution 10 minutes introduction normal distribution half an hour introduction maximum 1 hour 10 minutes you spend minimum 4 marks you can score even the first time people are going to watch for them for you you watch the entire lecture and you watch the numericals you went through everything so you no need to bother about anything please understand no questions are going to come from outside everything is going to be within the syllabus there may be two three questions 
can be out of the blue moon anything can come ignore those things what exactly happens you know those questions are coming na what we know okay this is also included in the syllabus and we teach those things in the next batch not for you those questions are not meant for you because we don't know what for example moments mu4 mu3 mu2 and all they ask actually speaking it's not there in our syllabus it's not at all there in our syllabus some there is a, a one or two times they came, it came in the examination i don't know whether it is going to come in the come in future or not because moments mu1 mu2 mu3 mu4 it is not there in our syllabus only but they are asking they asked earlier but now they are not asking so if again one more time the question comes next batch onwards i will include moments also this time it is not needed that's what i can tell you can you tell me directly mu1 for you now i'll tell you mu1 and mu3 is zero always what is mu1 you know first moment x minus x bar summation x minus x bar what is summation x minus x bar is <laughs> sum of deviation about arithmetic mean is always what zero that is what mu1 is all about okay next batch if this batch also the same question similar type question comes next batch i will include otherwise it is not needed now so only was the theory chapters theory part and go my dear it always helps it always helps am i clear yes, yes. is anything else you would like to ask logical reasoning as i told you logical reasoning as i told you the best thing is what if uh, maths first 40 question is maths second 40 is stats last is logical reasoning then last 20 minutes only you are going to spend for logic logical reasoning not at the beginning but sometimes it is mixed sometimes it is mixed when it is mixed seating arrangement more than six people questions are coming don't attend round table is coming don't attend blood relation conversation type of course more complicated than other type okay when puzzle solving questions are coming immediately you attend puzzle solving immediately you attend conversation type only two line question okay I, you remember it, divide into two parts and uh, left and right but that is what uh, you know sorry he uh, what is it my 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 right and left okay if right side one relation left side three relation is fine if right side two three relation left side two three relation there are more number of branches are coming don't avoid those questions blood relation as far as direction the seating arrangement direction also involved you have to be little careful and in the directions in directions of course don't close your eyes and do, do the direction you draw that direction north south east and uh, west then accordingly you move right and left because in the fast track i still remember even i got confused with the uh, right to left drawing i think i still remember it fast track na uh, south side yeah <laughs> when it goes to south side instead of taking right i took left it happens okay are how sir can forget are i am also a human being man and because if see i am very proud to say that if i know if i commit the mistake then only i can tell you na these are the mistakes will happen you don't do it correct na so you need to be uh, that is very much okay let sir do the mistake let sir do the mistake you need, see then only will come to know, okay if i am perfect i will expect you also to be perfect if i am not perfect okay i can adjust i can manage that is what happening so i commit a mistake then i realize okay these are the mistakes even you also do it if i do you also going to do okay if because surprising na it is questions directly it is coming i am solving it so that mistakes definitely will happen in your examination yes of course you are going to do that mistake so don't close your eyes just and don't put your position into that situation you please stay away from the question okay my uncles aunt and all please don't think i am going north and taking right don't think okay if you start thinking definitely you are not going to get the answer simply draw the diagram and from there you have to get the answer that is what logical reasoning comes what we do now we take logical reasoning very seriously that means wow that means this is what going to help me to solve no it is actually mathematical approach only logical reasoning we need to approach if you start thinking na then you are gone logical reasoning not supposed to be think and solve understand this next the most crucial part in number series is odd man out correct na odd man out in series the most crucial part is odd man out last time also what you know different different answers zebra tiger and giraffe and rhino see now what answer we will give 
we don't know whether rhino is what carnivorous or herbivorous huh? horse ah horse horse acha rhino is carnivorous or herbivorous sir apna na sir e ba mamis unniya pulal unniya nu ketta ba therla adu edu saapdune therla correct ah so not rhino uh, what is it horse giraffe zebra and tiger 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 or lion tiger okay now most of them would have given giraffe okay maybe horse also can be the answer ada ada ella height illa hey herbivorous only tiger is carnivorous correct adanu solren carnivorous is what ha huh? ha huh? that's what horse is actually what domestic animal res three or not not in domestic okay sir circus la use pannanga adala that's not domestic okay sir i have seen in youtube sir dubai shake and all na sir they have got cheetah and all their house sir they play with cheetah sir they are idiots let us not follow that same idiotcy here na I let it be so what so what okay now shake is talking about shake then who will blame man leave it <laughs> okay fine yes <laughs> okay guys listen here so see tiger whatever we are talking about tiger we are talking about, in see all the answers are matching horse is matching because domestic animal okay giraffe is matching long neck question <laughs> okay yeah all are five letters giraffe is six letters what see all are five letters giraffe is six letters now tiger is matching carnivorous what about g zebra <laughs> ah, okay now listen here please wait i think it is not tiger it was lion i remember because only giraffe has got tiger only Ah, okay. King. Okay. Rest everything is. Uh, what answer is given? Yeah. Hey, listen here. In this odd man out, in this odd man out, what will give? <laughs> Because whatever answer you are going to give, what examiner thinks that is going to be my answer. So in this case, you are not supposed to take any risk. Sir, no, sir. I will go with my answer, sir. Are that is not fair idea. Either either you have to take the calculative risk or you have to leave and come. That is the institute rule, na. I don't want to uh, like uh, give you any false hope. Even we don't know what institute is doing. There is no certain rule. There is no certain rule. Shh. There is no certain rule. If the question is wrong, whether they are giving grace mark or not, that also we don't know. that also we don't know so let us not underestimate institute okay so listen here my dear Shh, please that's all i would wanted to explain okay and i want to give some face to face experience also it is not about i want to give you that face to face experience i want to take that experience because it has been two or two and a half years after so many years i am just uh, meeting students directly but of course it was nice to see you all and i'm very happy to see you all in i think another 4 5 days we have got our exams right yes and one more thing my dear tomorrow you are going to write prelims timing only i'll confirm if you are coming here you please call us and inform because tomorrow no one will be there sunday holiday everyone will be at home if you are coming you have to in advance you should tell me sir we are coming sir so we will come and write the exam at that particular time i'll call the person and uh, sir will conduct the exam and go is that right my dear otherwise no one will be here then you come and no one is there means you are not supposed to blame i'm telling you this on the spot is that right my dear yes now math stats logical reasoning our target is 60 65 marks that's it is it clear all of you fine so please wait give me 2 minutes time anything you want to ask
hey, online students, if you want to stay, please stay. Ipanamaka Tabra, the lap. 